What is going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. My name is Chris, and welcome to the Chem Nation Show. The buggiest foe is descended on the battlefield. Will Chem be in a pinch to see if it's shining greatness, or will the pressure squash him? Find out today on the Cam Nation Show. <laughs> it's good to see you all. We got Becca here in the chat. We got Skyward Dork, Kyle JB, Brandon R24. We've got uh, Anne Marie and Big Cheese. Good to see you. Thank you for the congrats, Anne Marie. Jerry Notso. It is the progress. Uh, Muffin Man is here. We got Matthew Snyder. Ming is here. Tyler Shanks is here. Sasuke. Foxy Plays. Gengar 710. Adro Gaming. Hey, I'm the Italian. Hello, Andrew Gaming. I'm the Canadian. How's it going? Lars is here. We got Insurgents. We got Hefty. Morning, Hefty. And Ty uh, Tyler, Game Boy in the chat. Muffin Man coming in with that light goal. Yeah, we're going to pin the uh, ice cream, uh, re remove the ice cream and put that. Kaitaro, good to see you. Um, three pincer eggs we managed to hatch uh, before the end of stream yesterday after we got the shiny Staryu. Now we're working on pincer. And we'll see if we can uh, get ourselves a shiny pincer. These are 1 in 64 odds. 1 in 64. Hey, McCormick, what's up? We got uh, we got Astoric, what's going on? We got Paul in the chat. Uh, hey to you, Paul. Good morning to you. As Ultra Sun uh, Moon Wonder Trades. Okay, best hauls. Two shiny, obviously hacked <laughs> Reshiram. Genesect and a shiny shiftry. Okay. All right. So you're getting all kinds of shinies in these wonder trades. Uh, since when is Pinsir a fighting type in Gen 2? It's not, is it? Is it always been a, a bug fighting? Heracross is fighting. Um, Insurgents, I'm doing well. Ultimatron, hey, hey. Uh, bum, bum. But speaking of Heracross, I did go and find myself a Heracross uh, yesterday, so that is a hunt we can do in the future. Um, also, oh, flying, not, f oh, flying type. Oh, okay, sorry, I, I misread that. Um, not sure. Um, I also started up Pokemon Gold and uh, caught myself a Mareep in there and traded Mareep to this game, so that's another possibility for a future shiny hunt. As well. Uh, I should have. All right, I should have a full box um, eggs now, which I like to see. Uh, in this day, I encounter you got a shiny ditto. Congratulations! Congrats on that. Oh, the sprite looks like it's flying. Oh, I see. I, I thought you were being serious about it being a flying type in a generation. Cam, what are you doing? That fur alligator isn't level 70 yet. I know, I uh, spent some time on the Elite Four yesterday. I just I did one run through the Elite the elite Four to level up a Pokemon. And uh, my fur alligator ended up level 69, which is pretty nice, but uh, it's not as good as 70. Ooh, 141. Ten more to go. Ten more to go, Muffin Man. Thanks for the 29 likes, by the way. We do have a like goal of 50. So if you do want to support the channel, the greatest shiny hunting channel in the world, and if not, at least in Canada, hit that like button. Let's get the 50 likes. Uh, reset your normal moon. Uh, make it French. Oh, just to get a different ditto. Gotcha. So when does bank close? Uh, we don't have a definite date yet. They did say that it is, uh, you know, it is going to close, but they didn't say when, basically. It's not going to be closing with the other online services, but they did say it won't be around forever, so. My guess, if I had to guess, would be next year. So I've got a lot of uh, hunts uh, to do uh, before, before that. Next up is Gollum Nice Sasuke. Um, that's not the right thing. Sasuke, thank you for that. Uh, McKermit Muppet the Frog got gifted a membership by Sasuke. Thank you very much. Sasuke hoping in for an early shiny, hoping to pick the uh, the next uh, shiny hunt. 
All right, you gotta go. Good day, everyone. Good luck to everyone who is shiny hunting, chem included. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, thank you. I, um, I tried to play with the color settings in OBS to try to get the colors a little bit more accurate to what my screen is. All I did was I reduced the saturation just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, take a look at the difference. This is with the reduced saturation. Okay, and then this is without. So just a little bit uh, different in color. A little bit less yellow. I think that's closer to what I'm looking at on my actual screen here. Uh, finishing the story, Purple Dragon of Ultra Sun Save today. Gotta decide your first hunt. Is an ultra wormhole. SD versus HD, right? Look at that, another egg. Perfect. I love that. Uh, decided my first hunt is in an ultra wormhole hunt or type null or something. Ultra wormholes are pretty pretty easy. Do you have a, the completed national decks? Or the completed Alola decks, I mean, so that you can get the shiny charm early on. Gen 2 shinies are weird. I mean, they look, uh, they do look nice. Some of them are different, like Dratini's a pink shiny typically, but in this generation, Dratini's actually a purple shiny. So, uh, some of the shinies have changed since uh, Gen 2. One of the more notable ones is Charizard. In this generation, uh, Charizard, instead of being black uh, shiny with red wings, it's a purple shiny with green wings, so it's very different. Panzer, yeah, Cycloptics, we got uh, we got uh, Star you at 120. 120. At any point, you guys can type an exclamation point crystal in the chat to see the progress. You can see all of the generation one and two shinies that I've got. So far. Mm, and how many encounters it took, or how many egg hatches. Oh, you got the Shining Charm, you got the Living Dex and Bank, nice. Okay, already got Shiny Rayquaza and a Moon Save. Okay, perfect. Perfect, man. Who would win? Level 75 Raging Bolt or Level 5 Bidoof? I mean, you could probably compare it up with Level 1 Bidoof, and I think we'd still know the answer. Oh, man. That is good. Uh, I filled the boxes for Type Null, yeah. I did. That's the trick in Ultra Sun and Moon. But I also had a ton of eggs that I had hatched. So I had like the national uh, living decks. Or not the national decks. The, the Alola decks. So 400 Pokemon. Plus I hatched, you know, another 600 um, eggs uh, trying to get a shiny. So I had I had a lot, a lot of Pokemon. All right, I've got three extra eggs now in here. That should be good for now. Three extra eggs in the box. Yeah, really good odds in this hunt. Really good odds. One in 64 chance. The trade-off is that it is... Uh, the, the egg uh, collection and hatching is very slow. Let's, uh, let's go. Oh, here we go. First egg of the day. Is it going to be shiny? Yeah, 6,400, I think, is what it is uh, for one pincer egg. And the first of the day is not shiny. Okay, so we're going to go back in here. I am going to delete this nasty, nasty non-shiny. Hey, Razzie. Uh, withdraw another egg and we'll get going. Make a PB uh, banana and PB Sammy. You'll be good. I prefer a peanut butter mayonnaise sandwich, but uh, but I guess that's okay. Uh, get to work on somewhat big project today. Oh, you got to work on that. Okay. Excited to new experience. Nervous because one wrong move and stuff breaks. Yikes. Okay. 
That, uh, that sounds good and uh, scary. Oh, oh, the egg, a banana and PB. Oh, right. Yes, the, the egg power sandwich. <laughs> egg power sandwich. I totally missed the joke. Chem helping the population of pincer grow. Yeah, normally you could only find them in the bug catching contest. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. But now there's some extra pincers around, so I'm helping out. I'm helping out some uh, young young trainers there. Yeah, here's a good piece of advice from Matthew. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. I went into a live stream this morning and I said hi. And then somebody so rude, they said, Ew. Referring to, to my presence. Here we go, egg number five. One in 64 chance. Can we get an early pincer? <laughs> Not a shiny pincer. Not a shiny pincer. Yes, thanks, Matthew. I was thinking about messing up, but now that you told me that, I will reconsider. Uh, wow, Cam, how's your luck been with these eggs? Exclamation point crystal in the chat, Mikey. That'll show you all the eggs I've hatched shiny so far. That reminds me of a politician when you said that. Who said, uh, you know... The other, the other guys, uh, the other guys, they've been trying so hard, and for four years they've been trying to do it, and they couldn't do it. I got into office, and I told them to do it, and then it, within a w two weeks it was done. It was like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's that's as easy as that, right? Uh, good burgers, nothing to do with a Pokemon game. Also reminds me of that Simpsons episode, old Simpsons episode where. Uh, the Shelbyville and the Springfield uh, baseball teams are competing. And uh, Mr. Burns hires uh, all these professional baseball players to work at uh, the power plant. So that uh, they could, he could win the game, basically. And the guy's name was Daryl Strawberry, baseball player. Mr. Burns says, hey, Strawberry, hit a home run. And so he does. And Mr. Burns is like, I told him to do that. <laughs> He's like taking credit for the home run. I would end this war decades of hatred in one, maybe two weeks. That's right. Is that easy? You just gotta say, just gotta say, end it and it's done. Favorite Simpsons uh, episode is Shelbyville and the Lemon Tree. I love the Lemon Tree episode. That's that is one of my favorites. The Lemon Tree episode, yeah. All right, here we go. Come on now. We got uh, we got a couple early eggs here, but now I'm uh, now my. Uh, PC storage eggs are being depleted. They're being depleted. We need some more eggs. Yeah, that's right. This whole trip has been as useless as that yellow lemon-shaped rock over there. Wait a minute. There's a lemon behind that rock. <laughs> oh, good old classic Simpsons. Oh man, really met a champion. 3,400 eggs. 1,577 eggs since your last shiny. And uh, and still no Illumise. Dang. Good to see you, Shiny37. How you doing? Villy's in the chat as well. Hey, Villy. That's right. We can't, we can't, uh, we can't speak any names in the chat, Muffin Man. Um, so are you going for ones that have 1 in 64 odds? Uh, they all have, all the eggs have 1 in 64 odds. But essentially, essentially, um, I'm going to go for all of the generation 1 and 2 shinies. Number 1 all the way for, all the way through 251, with the exception of Mew, since you can't actually shiny hunt Mew legitimately in, in the games. Am I wrong? No. It, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> Principal Skinner. Oh, man. Mm. No names ever uttered in the chat. That's right. Hey, Christian. How you doing? Yeah, two shinies from 3.4k is pretty bad, though. It is. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. 
So we may see Celebi, we may. I already do have a shiny Celebi from this game, but yeah, I could see myself hunting it again. Now that I've got two 3DS devices, it takes about 30 seconds per reset. So two per minute, basically, on one device. So four per minute. So it, it, they go pretty quick. I think even the Lugia and the Ho-Oh and maybe even the Suicune will be a little bit faster than that either. Uh, as well, I mean. Hey, Skrillbo, what's going on, buddy? I saw their, uh, their Speak No Evil, they're remaking it, though. Um, in, well, I mean, it's already in English, but they're remaking it, I guess, with American actors, James McAvoy or whatever. Uh, stopping in after finishing another stream. How are Guy, Kem? Oh, Aaron, Guy's good. Uh, pan monkeys spawning globally in Go at the moment. Oh, are they? And are, are they normally regionals? Are they shiny huntable? Can you get the monkeys, the elemental monkeys in Pogo shiny? Alright, look at this. Now we're filling up the PC with eggs again. Rare spawn rate seems a bit off. Uh, they can be shiny. Oh, and they're region locked. Okay. Aaron, you missed Star You. Yeah, we got it right uh, near the end of the live stream. 120 eggs. 120 eggs uh, is when it shined. But these are good odds. 1 in 64. So, I mean, some days we, we might go an entire live stream without a shiny. There may be, there may be days on the live stream where we get two or three uh, different egg shinies. Took care of my door security, got the original door jammer. What is that? And what door security? Oh, they were knocking again. 1244, man. But what does a door jammer do? Because I don't think they're trying to get in. It just sounds like they're trying to bother you. Yeah, so soon. Came like a year or two ago. Yeah, I guess. But it was what? Like a Norwegian movie? I guess they want to make it... Uh, you know, with uh, with American actors and then get it a wi worldwide uh, theatrical release kind of thing. It's this door jammer you put at the door, but what... Okay, but that doesn't... I want to know what it does, though. I, I don't think it's going to stop people from knocking on your door. Um, But I hope it does, because that's annoying, like... Okay, once is like, once is like, okay, yeah, good joke, haha, but like every night if people coming in, knocking at your door, waking you up, it, it's really, it's really frustrating. And, and I can tell you from experience, different, different kind of experience, it makes it hard to, to sleep. Like I had, we had one point where every night my daughter would come, wake up in the middle of the night, then she'd come and get us. Cause she'd be scared at night or whatever. So it was hard, it was hard for me after a while to get to sleep because every, every tiny little noise I heard, I would like jolt awake because I would think it was my daughter coming to get me. So I couldn't like go to sleep because I'm always wondering when is she going to come in and get us and... No pincer, number six. Not much happens, that's right, exactly. Not much happens right to the end. Yeah, okay, so it jams the door from from being opened. But I didn't think that people were trying to get in. Four boxes in blue with my 142 registered. Oh, nice. Thanks, JJ. I'll take I'll take a look. Um I was thinking about picking up um, I want to get more storage for my PC to store my live streams. And I was looking for, like, I, I was looking into it, apparently, for, like, just storing video footage, live stream, gameplay kind of stuff. Um, hard drives are the way to go over, say, solid-state drives. Um, and I already have a Western Digital 14 terabyte uh, Easy Store external hard drive. So I was thinking about actually breaking it down taking the hard drive out inside and just installing it, um, it right inside of the PC. Popped in my head yesterday at uh, 
at uh, at at thirteen thirty three a.m. What? Probably one thirty three a.m. So you get the first. Oh, you got the same day shipping. Nice. Oh, twelve thirty three. Okay. Do your doors not have locks though, JJ? I gotta see what this door jammer is. Uh oh, it's just from for, for yeah, from preventing people from forcing the uh, door open. Why bother shining it when I can get all the shinies from hacked wonder trades? Yeah, of course you won't be the original trainer. And you don't get that satisfaction of finding the shiny, but that's why I shiny hand. That's why I do it. Cocker Spaniel fan, 56. I wish I would have shiny hunted Celebi already back and transferred it to home, but that's okay. I'll get Celebi in my SP game through trading. Okay. Do you not have the virtual console crystal version on like the 3DS or DS or anything? Root jams, yeah, like strawberry jam. Smuckers, that's the best strawberry jam, I think. We bought all kinds of strawberry jams. Smuckers is the best. Won't be as shocking, though. Uh, Martyrs and inside, yeah, two French, okay. Door jams taste like wood, yeah, they just... It's like all that wood pulp you smeared on your toast. Put it on my roast, mix it in with my coffee, and spread it on my toast. Uh, most confusing evolution, Tyro. Yeah, it dep depends on the uh, stats, right? Seeds or seedless? I just buy the, sm uh, the Smucker's Strawberry Jam. I don't know if it has seeds or not. But I do hate when you're eating like a strawberry or a raspberry and you get like a seed like jammed way up into your like molar like that. Oh, it's frustrating. Okay, catch 15 Pokemon is the field research that awards a random pan monkey. And they're in the, uh, the wild, I assume, too. Now, does anyone know typically what shiny odds are from research tasks? Are, are research, do research task Pokemon have boosted the chance of shiny or are they just regular odds? Whatever the Pokemon's odds are. Pokemon doesn't work. A career in singing. Yeah, I don't know if I'm that good. Oh, one in 500, not boosted chance. So when I got a shiny cast form from the research task, that would have been like full odds. Different mods, if okay. So the research task uh, shiny odds basically match. Would you say they match the odds of whatever the Pokemon is? Kem is a great singer. Yeah, there was this movie about me called The Wedding Singer, and but I got fired because I wasn't singing that good. Castform, yeah, Castform was one in twenty-eight in the wild. 1 in 28 at the wild. So were the research tasks for cast form also 1 in 128 then? I can't believe I got a shiny cast form from the research task and it was the stupid normal form. Okay, wild or research, same odds. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, I finally, I finally get a shiny from the research tasks. Uh, the cast form research, and it, and it was the normal form. I think I only saw like two or three normal form cast forms from the research. They were almost all sunny form or rainy form. I didn't even, yeah, you released all the normal you got. I didn't even check any of the normal ones, to be honest. Oh, Will, we still got to set up that trade for the, the sunny for the snowy form. At least I'm getting starters uh, from Wonder Trades. Well, there you go. And speaking of starters, I do have the, all the Gen 1 and 2 starters in this game too. So those are also uh, potential um, potential future shiny hunts. Alright, uh, here we go. Egg number 7. Lucky number 7. Yeah, send the info again. Okay. Oh, 
not shiny. Look at that, number seven. Oh, Decidueye, he's putting those goats into chat. Let's get that. Thanks for the 50 likes. Don't forget to smack that like button. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes. Uh, price of shake and bake these days, man. Just buy your own spices. Buy your own bulk spices. I've been I've been heavily seasoning my chicken for years, man. For years, I've been uh, doing Cajun chicken and all that stuff. And I've been teaching uh, Sax and J Dub and all these guys about uh, my seasonings. And uh, yeah, just buy some bulk seasonings, man. Make your own. White Baskelin confusing Evo method. Yeah, you gotta like do a move so many times or whatever. Congrats on the Deoxys. Thanks, a Brandon C22. Let's uh, bicycle around this area. Thanks to Cam, I discovered how to use salt and pepper and other spices. Yep. Anyone doing the Zarud event? I'm not. I'm not paying, like, whatever it is, 11 bucks Canadian. I mean, I already have Zarud in Pokemon Go. And even if I didn't, I don't I don't think I would spend 11 bucks for that. I think that's kind of a ripoff. Uh, oh, 294. Oh, right, recoil. Yes. That's what it is. Yeah, you gotta take the recoil damage. Listening to this good bicycling music. Tad lazy! I'm new! What? New? And I need it? Wait, what? You need it for your OT uh, living decks. What? Hold on, what do you need? Tad lazy. $8 for one shot of Zarud. Uh, one in 216 chance of being a hundo. No thanks! Yeah, that's right. And I'm assuming it's not shiny Zarude or anything. It's just a regular one. Just an old, regular old Zarude. And I already have one, so... There's not really any point in... In me buying that or whatever. But uh, thank you everybody for the 50 likes. We do have the new like goal up of uh, 100. Ah, uh, that's what you do, okay. You need it uh, for your, your living decks, the Zarud, gotcha. Chicken parm tonight, there you go. So what do you need shake and bake for? Now I'm thinking of like uh, on Simpsons where the collection, they're at church and the collection plate goes by and Homer puts in the coupon for shake and bake, 30 cents off shake and bake. Just get yourself some uh, panko uh, breadcrumbs there, JJ. Mm. <laughs> or if you got some bread, if you have bread at the home, at your house, put the bread in, uh, in the air fryer for a bit, dry it out, and then just crumble it up. Not a fan of panko, what the heck? Some Zarud candy into research, yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not too interested in it. Shake and bake, I thought it was move and heat. There you go. I love, I love that shake and bake though. It's a, it's pretty clever. Here we go, egg number eight. Is it gonna be a shiny pincer? Not a shiny pincer. Bonus. Mm. Palafin is just fin is in with a heart on its chest, pretty much. Of course, Palafin you can uh, you can swap uh, forms of Palafin or whatever, but uh, just the standard one, yeah, it does that doesn't change too much. Biggest scam of the century. What the Palafin? Staple of my diet in the early 20s. Yeah, we ate a lot of shake and bake growing up too. Literally just, yeah, you just open uh, you open up the box, pour the seasonings uh, into a bag, throw your chicken in there, shake it up, boom, it's done. 
clever it's a box of crust yeah crust and seasonings but hey i mean they still make it they still sell it it makes money it's easy and that's that's what makes it clever um man running out of pincer eggs again Gengar, 143, Muffin Man, you're getting close. You're getting very close to completing that dex. There's the old man again. Okay, come on now, deposit. Uh, Mel Metal has Thunder Punch as an evolution move in the games, really? 30%? Uh, I'll, I'll take it. We don't need too much shiny luck for these uh, hunts. 1 in 64 odds, that is. Uh, Palafin reminds me of a jammy dodger. What is that? I see you in the park, you're always wearing Dodger Blue. Uh, if I could time travel, get to the new Pokemon games and come back, right? Have them for the collection. If I could time travel, you go back in time, buy some uh, first edition base set booster boxes. Or better yet, you just go back in time and you just buy a whole bunch of Bitcoin. Back when it was like less than a cent per coin. Another egg coming in. Egg number nine. Shiny pincer. Will it be mine? Nope. Biscuit with a jam filled heart in the middle. Oh, I'm, yeah, I don't know that one. Yeah, getting rich would be cool. Deposit the pincer. We'll release it actually. And then we'll withdraw another egg. Mm, when you say biscuit, you mean like uh, what we'd call here is a cookie, right? <laughs> Mel metals in Pogo. Yes, that's right. Yeah, you gotta you gotta take the Meltan, evolve it in Pogo. And then, uh, and then tra transfer it over. Um, any predictions in the chat? Will this pincer shine before odds? And if so, how many eggs do you think it's going to take? Okay, a British biscuit. Yeah, okay. Bit of jam between two biscuits with a heart cut out. Okay, all right. 15 sauce K. 15 eggs. Should I be more mature for my late 20s? I still act like I did 10 years ago. I mean, you probably should be a little bit more mature, but I don't know. I I bet you I bet you're a little bit more mature. But maybe just a bit. 2800 uh, entries to collect. If you're going to an OT living decks, all the forms. Yeah, all the forms. If you're talking about uh, the different uh, gender differences and all that in Pokemon, there's a lot uh, to collect. It'll be my first on odds hunt. 64 eggs. Okay. All right. We bought Bitcoin for $2 a pop. I can't remember his password. Man, 200 million in value. That's crazy. That is crazy, man. Oh. <clears throat> Can you imagine knowing that you have $200 million and the only thing you need is just the, the password you created and you can't remember the password? Jeez. I'd literally be spending hours every day just trying to guess the passwords that I would have thought of. Oh, 
I know there was a guy who had some Bitcoin on like a hard drive that got like thrown out or whatever. Uh, hatching a batch after Illumi is a heavy batch, higher risk of Volbeat. It feels that way, doesn't it? Take solace, take comfort, Meta Champion, in knowing your previous hatches make no difference, uh, no indication of what your future hatches will look like. Ah, uh, Ultimatron needs Zerud for the living decks. Those research tasks look difficult? Okay. Is that guy still looking for the hard drive? I mean, probably not. I mean, if the hard drive's in, in the landfill, it's crushed, it's buried, it's ruined, it's old and rusty and destroyed, like... There'd be nothing to recover off of it. Um. But yeah, I do I do want to get another hard drive to put inside my PC. And um, I, I learned that uh, I do have a 14 terabyte external hard drive. It's a Western Digital Easy Store. And I heard those things are incredibly easy to disassemble. And so I could just take the casing off, take the hard drive out from inside and just connect it uh, right inside my, uh, right inside my PC and have 14 terabytes of extra video storage. Uh, yeah, Galarian Farfetch need to land three critical hits in a single battle. That's right. You need to hope that you... Well, could you... You could... It doesn't have to be against the same Pokemon, right? Couldn't you, like, fight a trainer? Like, with multiple Pokemon? Box three of Wonder Trades done. There you go, Foxy. All right, old man. Let's get uh, let's get another egg here. Thanks for fifty one likes. Don't forget to hit that like button. We would love uh, to see uh, some more likes in the chat. And uh, remember that one like equals one luck. In a single battle, learns false swipe. Oh, that's right. You can just keep doing false swipe. That's right. False swipe would be the way to go. Dry skin isn't fun. No, that's not a good. Uh, that's not a good one. Aleki's been taking up so much time. I forgot to update the raid for Scarlet and Violet Herba farming. Dang, Sasuke. Shoot. I haven't played Scarlet and Violet in a while, but here we go. Egg number 10. Hmm, not shiny. All swipe, focus energy, leak. There we go. No problem at all. That's right, you, you get it to holding the leak, and then you get increased uh, critical hits. Mm. Deposit, let's uh, release the pincer. Yeah, I think I probably did something similar. I did something similar, and, and I got it pretty quick. Hit a new deadlift PR. Well, since it started to go back to 185, very nice. First time it didn't hurt. Yeah, you were mentioning shinies. You got the, you were really getting the the form down. Nice man. It's good to see you going out to the gym. Still hitting that gym. Oh, now okay. Now that I pick up the egg, now the old man gives me one. Deposit. Yeah, on your eyelids, yikes. Yeah, I don't I don't like that. Now that you got the form down though, I bet you shinies. I bet you get to 200 like real quick. Swole Nation. I know, I got to go back to the gym. I was sick for a while and then I got busy and then so it's kind of been a, it's kind of been a, a few weeks since I've been back in the gym and I got to get in there otherwise I'm going to lose my progress again. Oh, another egg! There we go! Number 11! Egg number 11. 
Ah, not shiny. I said my goal was to bench press 250 pounds for one repetition this year. So I bet I gotta get go going to the gym more frequently if I want to do that. Isn't if I weren't paying like 50 to 60 bucks a month on subscriptions already, I'd join the gym. Easier than working out at home. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you gotta actually go to the gym, but it is, I mean, you have, the equipment's all there, the machines are there. Did I actually take the egg out? Okay. Or you could get, like, Planet Fitness or whatever, that's pretty cheap. But I couldn't go to Planet Fitness. Because, like, when I work out, I'm like Michael when he was, like, filming his workout scene on The Office. I make all kinds of noise. Calisthenics have some dumbbells. I mean, that's better than nothing. That's, be be that's more than most people do. You don't have to be lifting heavy weights or anything like that. As long as you're getting your heart, uh, heart rate up and all that. This poor egg, it keeps getting, uh, it keeps getting put back in the box. Here's what I'm going to do. Because this egg has been, has been keep getting put in and out, in and out, in and out of there for a while. I'm going to take this egg, uh, I'm going to put this egg in the box and take the other one out. A little bit of extra time, but whatever. Volbeat heavy batch, no shiny though, yikes. Yeah, the GBA music, the old, old Pokemon, yeah. I think Gary's coming, that's right. I always think of that music whenever I see the old man walking back into the his home. But yeah, I started Pokemon Gold uh, yesterday. You know, I only played, like, whatever, 30 minutes in just to get to Route 32 so I can catch a Mareep. So I've traded a Mareep to this copy of Crystal. And, uh, because Chris, uh, in Pokemon Crystal, Mareep is unavailable, so... So now I've got a Mareep to, to breed in the future. Um, but, I mean, there's a lot of Pokemon I still need to shiny hunt in this game. 64 forms, I know, there's a lot, there's a lot of different, uh, Alchemy forms. All right, uh, Aaron, get some sleep. Thanks for the luck on the pincer. Maybe we'll get it lucky number 13. 65 people hanging out here. Appreciate the uh, support. Make that 69 people hanging out. Anyone coming in uh, new for the very first time? Make sure you say hi in the chat. Let me know you're around. Uh, Went up to Shiny Sprite next to the egg count. Make it a bit easier. Uh, I don't have the Gen 2 Shiny Sprites. I don't have them. So I can't put it on there. How does it feel no one is going to come to you looking for leads? Yeah, it's sad. Now you can get the uh, Gen 2 Best Shiny. What is that? Ampharos. I think there's just a couple more Pokemon that are unobtainable in Crystal that I gotta get uh, in the game. And that is um, Remoraid and Girafferig. But that is on Route 42, so I gotta progress in gold a little bit more. Um, Serebii has them. Well, yeah, I know, but I mean, I, I didn't have the animated sprites. Yeah, see, Hefty says, I like not having the Gen 2 Sprite Industry. It gives me a bit more excitement when the shiny hatches. See, I, I could look up Pinsir's shiny sprite um, just to be sure, but I kind of like a little bit of the excitement too. Uh, 
Uh, takes so long to get the right special stat on a Pokemon with the glitch. I think I'll name the Hitmonlee Scamuel. Okay. <laughs> Secret form of alchemy, spinning clockwise, anti-clockwise for 24 hours solid. That'd be uh, that'd be pretty wild. That's uh, that would be a lot of time spinning. Holy cow! Um. All right, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's uh, deposit this. Let's take another egg out. And uh, we should have, we I got a few in there now. Legend ZA better give us Mega Flygon. I know people really want Mega Flygon. That's another one. I bet you we are going to get uh, Charizard Z though. Charizard Z. And then people will complain because Charizard got another form. I mean, I mean, it literally does not hurt anybody, Charizard getting another form, but people will complain. Yeah, Mega Mewtwo Z, maybe. Mm, biking along this path, trying to get myself an egg. Will says, play the game and just don't use the Charizard. Exactly. I don't know, people complain Charizard gets too much love. It's not like it's hurting anybody. Unless they make Mega separate Pokemon, couldn't care less. Yeah, because you still gotta choose to Mega Evolve them, right? Mega Rattata Z, there you go. Mega Rattata, let's make a Mega Psyduck. And then, uh, and then he'll have a special move like Mind Blown, where his headache is just so bad that his head explodes, but not like literally explodes. Like an explosion comes out of his head, like in the anime. Oh, uh, special set exactly line with the index number. Yes, not the oh, not the Pokedex number. Gotcha. Mega Blissey. Hogo Jim's, yeah, crying. Yeah, I didn't really use the gimmicks either, Will. Mega Z moves any of them. I mean, if I needed to, like, uh, for battle. It, but most of the time, my team was strong enough that I didn't even need to bother doing those things. Ooh, you got Chinese Scullipede from the trade. Nice. You always use Psyduck in um, Scarlet Violet and name it Headache. There you go. I actually, fittingly, I think it's fitting, I chose a Psyduck in this game to learn the move Headbutt. So my poor Psyduck with a headache is headbutting these trees. So I got my uh, hair across and I got my Pineco from the trees. Maybe if he smacks his head uh, enough, the headache will go away. Yeah, Mega only when required, exactly. But we may, we may see AZ, that's right, in Legend ZA, we may actually have, uh, we might be able to ab actually obtain the Floette, the Eternal Flower Floette, or whatever it's called. Ratatium Z makes Ratata turn into Ultra Ratata. Top percentage, there you go. Um, uh, a little bit slower on the eggs today because the pincer eggs take a little bit longer. How do I odd egg hunt? Yeah, you just save before talking to the old man for the first time. Save right in front of him, collect the egg, hatch it. Um, if it's not what you want, then just soft reset, collect the egg again. Mega Dragonite. Dragonite. There you go. What if they called it, uh, what if they, instead of a Dragonite-ite, they just called it Dragonite. Alright, here we go, egg number 12. Nicest shinies you got in shield, under 100 encounters, one beast ball. That's pretty good, Will. One beast ball, that's really lucky. 
I think there's a really fun fan game. Joey the Ratata Trainer, more grown up. He has a level 100 or high Ratata. That's cool. If you do the cloning glitch, receive multiple. It did that and got six shinies, 14 eggs. I know some people do that, Sir Knight. Some people do that. They'll clone the egg, they'll go back, and then uh, so they have the egg in the box, but then they can still collect another egg. You can go get 20, 30, 40 different eggs, all at one in seven chance, but I I opted not to do that. Uh haven't been sent a Magikarp yet. Yeah, that's surprising from Wonder Trades. Always use the cloning glitch to get all three starters. Yeah, I know people do that too. For me, I I have like two devices with the game on both devices. So what I would do, sometimes what I would do is I would play on my main copy, say I'll pick a Charmander or whatever. Then on my second co uh, copy, I pick Squirtle. Then I trade it to my first copy, restart. Then I pick Bulbasaur and trade that to the, to the copy. And then I got all three. Jim Leader Hassan, how's it going? Uh, Goldilocks, the odd egg. The odd egg in the Generation 2 games has a 1 in 7 chance of being shiny. So the daycare here, the first time you go in the daycare and you talk to the old man, he gives you an egg. And the egg is a 1 in 7 chance of being shiny. Uh, yeah, it's got Pichu, Magby, Cleffa, Igglybuff, Smoochum, and Tyrogue. It's got all the baby Pokemon except for Togepi. And, it, and it's random which, which Pokemon you get, but it's a 1 in 7 chance of being shiny, so it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, we got Staryu Poke Castle, 120 eggs. Oh yeah, Ella Kid as well, that's right. Will says I usually did that, then I started shiny hunting on a copy with only a single starter. We'll have to ace the other two in. Ah. Wait, ace the other two in? Tyrogue is rare, yeah. Tyrogue, I think, is a 1% chance. Is it 1%? No, it's a 1% chance to get a shiny Tyrogue. Tyrogue eggs are 10%. Oh, arbitrary code execution, gotcha. Uh, debating on pulling to trigger some games with the Steam sale. What kind of games are you looking at there, Jerry? Yeah, same odds as Pichu. Pichu and Tyrogue have the same chance of being shiny. Actually, in this game, um, I reset the odd egg just until I got one shiny. I didn't care what it was. And it was the shiny Pichu. Could have gotten your birds that way easy, yeah. Oh, oh, old Final Fantasy games, like a couple dollar dues. that's it. Alright, you got a gold file with the ace code set up, uh, steel, sh oh, to shiny hunt the trainer's Pokemon. Nice. Return from your Reggie Drago hunt, it'll be your fourth shiny, okay. Your fourth shiny Reggie Drago hunt, nice. All right, egg number 13, lucky number 13. Can we get the shiny? No shiny pincer on number 13. Now, Deoxys went over odds. And then Staryu went over odds. And we have a rule here in the Chem Nation channel that uh, we cannot get three over odds shinies in a row. Hey, Amber, what's going on? Dice Art Universe in the chat, in the building, and Shinies, congrats on your Zerkatry, man. I'm assuming you mean Shiny. If you tell me, hey, I got Zerkatry, but it wasn't Shiny, then I'm not going to be happy with you. Two more eggs, Sasuke. You were predicting 15. I thought the rule was we release all over odd Shinies. We got it. We got a Shiny hunted over odds until we get it, then release it. And then start start over fresh to get an under odds one, right? Ah, looking for something to eat, okay. 
Mega Beedrill, 15 special attack. Ooh. I remember I, I remember there was a live streamer. They would say like, oh yeah, most of my hunts are under odds. Like I get almost all under odds hunts. But like whenever they got close to uh close to hitting odds, they just got bored with the hunt and switched the hunt. <laughs> Alright, here we go, number 14. Hmm, not shiny on the pincer. Charge a bug. It's green though. Ah, uh, alright. That's right. If you quit, if you quit your shiny hunt, every time, uh, every time you get like right to right, like one in like two. Let's say you quit your hunt, two encounters before odds, and then uh, and then you just gotta say, hey, you know what? I never went over odds ever. All of my shinies have been under odds, and you would you would not be uh, telling a lie. Yeah, all of my at-bats at baseball are home runs. I quit after my first at-bat, which was a home run. That's right. And you got 100% home run record. Uh, ooh, look at that. Another uh, egg. You can make the game even easier with Syndical if you choose first, second, and pick Totodile third. So your rival has the grass starter. Oh. Is that how it works? I just I just play the game real dirty. I pick um I pick uh what's his face? Uh Totodile. And then I just trade it over to my second copy of Crystal, evolve it into uh Crocona at like level 16, and then uh, and then go to Goldenrod and buy the TM for Ice Punch. And then I got a super effective move against Chikorita. The MVP, Sage Lee at the top of Sprout Tower, gets absolutely run over by Hef P and then is ready to fight me. And that's right. That's right, got absolutely destroyed, man. Like, the whole ground was, like, shaking when you get up there. And then he's like, okay, let's fight. And then you probably destroyed him too. Yeah, I played uh, Pokemon Gold. I started up Pokemon Gold because there's a couple unobtainable Pokemon in Crystal. So I'm going to have to catch them in Pokemon Gold. Um... All I did was, yeah, I, I could pick Totodile. I progressed long enough so that I can catch another Pokemon. I traded Totodile to my second copy of Crystal, put the experience share on it, went through the Elite Four once. It was like level 33 or something. Taught it Ice Punch and then you trade it back. And then you're, the whole game is so easy. So many Hone Edge. Yeah, from the, from the Wonder Trades. The intense battle of your rivals, Zubat, <laughs> and starter Pokemon, that's right. Uh, Wild Gym Leader Hassan, how you been? I've been good. We got the shiny Deoxys just uh, two days ago. And then yesterday we got the shiny Staryu. So, working on the Generation 2 Crystal Shiny Living decks. Oh, you got a special of 43 on Gollum, now you can get Hitmonlee, nice. Playthrough you've done in Crystal, pretty much solo Totodile for Alligator, yeah. I mean, even if you don't if you don't trade it over and level it up, your Totodile, once it evolves into Crocona, can learn uh, Ice Punch, which you can buy at Goldenrod. I mean, it's pretty early in the game. And then if you have Ice Punch, you can just, yeah, you just destroy the, uh, the rivals, Chikorita or Bayleaf or whatever they have. Difficult level scaling. Yeah. Especially if you're using experience share, or you're trying to, like, level up your team uh, somewhat evenly. I tend to just use my starter for everything. And then the rest of my, uh, the rest of my team are either for, like, uh, HMs, or I just use them to revive my starter 
if it faints. Go get the Hulk. What? First ice move available. Oh, Icy Wind, yeah. But yeah, Ice Punch. Ice Punch is in the Goldenrod in the... Uh, in in the shop there. So, 3,000 Coins or something. I mean, it's 75 power. It's pretty good. Ooh, Heliolisk for Hefty. You just need Audino and Drapion. Nice, you're getting close. Now, is that it for the wormholes, or is that just for the color? Joyce, hello. James is late. Thanks uh, for, for popping in there, James. All right, Muffin Man says, raise your hand if you skip as many battles as possible and wonder why you're so over, uh, so under-leveled, you mean? Oh, no, I didn't see the drawing. I forgot to take a look in the art tab. I'm going to do that right now, actually, because I said I was going to do it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Art. All right, where is that? Just scrolling down, looking at all these uh, wonderful art pictures. Which, uh, where did you post it there? Oh, it's on your community tab. Oh, I thought you posted it in the, in the Discord. I'll have to check it, uh, I have to check it after though, because then I... Oh, you have to send me a DM or something of it. I don't want to forget. And the wallet takes another hit. $250 for two crisp. Advanced SP. Pro Gamers Kit. And 10 games. Which games did you get? Uh, for the SPs, did you get the 101s or the or the uh, just the 001s? Yeah, underleveled, yeah. Spiky-eared Pichu is originally going to be a white Pichu, really. I didn't, uh, I didn't know that. Pokemon Bank, they haven't given us a date yet. They, they, it will close. I think the Nintendo company actually did say it is closing, but they didn't say when. Newer systems, okay. Uh, games will all be sold to a shop, okay. Worst games I've ever seen. Oh, so just like junky games, $5 games. But hey, 10 games, man. Even if you can recoup a little bit of that cost. This year, I think probably next year. That would be my guess. Oh, wow. That's really good. Entei, Raikou, and Suicune. And they got the little cute... Uh, I love the eyes, too. Oh, that's really nice. I used to draw a lot, but I don't do it anymore. Favorite shiny and crystal? It's hard to say. I don't know. There's a lot of good shinies. Oh, the neighbor's cat through the wall. Ugh. Sounds sad. That's too bad. Poor kitty. But here we go. 15 eggs. Not shiny. Number 15... Nintendo's urging us to transfer Pokemon now rather than later. That's right. You tend to keep all these shinies in Gen 2. No, I want to move them into Pokemon Home. I want to move them into Pokemon Home. Um, that way, in my shiny living decks, I can see that I have all of the shinies with the little Game Boy icon. Uh, withdraw egg to draw a bit more nice to do I know it's just there's so many things I'd like to do and it's it, my time is so limited 
How many do I need? Oh, I need most of them. I need most of them. Kai, if you type in exclamation point crystal into chat, you can see uh, which of the generation 1 and 2 Pokemon I have so far. Max for chem tokens is 50. Yeah, not Art Nation, that's right. There you go, thanks Muffin Man. If you see Nightbot posted that, check out my 1-2 uh, uh, Shiny Progress. You can click that link, and you can see which of the Shinies I've obtained, and uh, how many eggs it's taken me, or, or say encounters it's taken me, depending on the hunt. I may, I'll probably not be ready for tomorrow. But I do want to do maybe once or twice a week. Uh, do the 1 in 8,192 hunts. That'll be for Suicune or Ho-Oh or Lugia. Uh, maybe maybe uh, the Generation 1 birds in Pokemon Red. Where you have to... Um, uh, where you have to like actually get the stats you catch the birds and then you, you check the stats and if the stats match Then you uh, then you get then then you transfer to gen 2 and it's shiny uh, Will you dual hunt them? Yes, I'm gonna dual hunt the the legends Whole box of untraded Gumi. Whoa, is that good? Are you gonna use those for wonder trades big fan of non gen 9 hunts? I mean, I think it would be pretty cool to have the shiny, like, say, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and Mewtwo, especially, have the shiny birds with the little Game Boy icon uh, next to them in Pokemon Home, because those birds, the Gen 1 Legendaries, are not obtainable in Generation 2 games. The only way to get the birds are from Gen 1. And, uh, and the, since shinies did not exist in uh, in generation one you have to catch it look at the stats uh, and then to know if it if it'll be shiny or not blood moon or blood moon ursaluna would be nice to shiny hunt of course they locked it can you use ditto to check the stats of the legendary birds um i don't think so i don't think you you can check your own stats during battle Dark Fox, it's staying online um, so far. They did say they're going to close it. It's just not closing right away. Like, not next month. Not shiny. Yeah, I don't know if you can see your own stats in, in, in battle. But really, the, the way to do it is to just throw the Master Ball. You, uh, you go into battle, throw the Master Ball... And then, uh, and then just quickly check. Uh, what you do is you go into your Pokemon. You first look at the uh, HP. And if the HP matches, then you go in and you look at the rest of the stats. If the HP doesn't match, then you don't even have to look at the rest of the stats. Oh, you got a new uh, starter, Piplop. What? That's not a starter. Fresh mushroom pasta sauce. Fresh. Like, like homemade? Like made in store kind of pasta sauce thing? I know you like mushrooms, JJ. I'm not a big mushroom fan. I'll eat mushrooms. I don't mind them, but I don't go out of my way uh, to get them. Zenith form. Green on the head, yeah. 61 likes. We gotta get those likes up to 100. 69 people hanging out here. Yeah, Piplup. It's not even a starter Pokemon. That's right. Nobody, nobody knows about that. <laughs> um, virtual console mon uh, default to Pokemon. Yes, they are they default to Pokeballs. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't imagine like trying to catch all the legendary birds in a standard Pokeball and then checking them. That would take forever. Cool, Kurt, your back is destroyed until I take out Team Rocket, then you're mysteriously healed. That's right. Oh, oh, my poor back. You better take out these guys. 
for me. Oh man, my back's all better. <laughs> Piplup. Prinplup. Now, Pip Piplup's probably like my favorite shiny from that generation. My favorite shiny starter. Shiny ho up and it was originally in a moon ball. Oh, wait. You Yeah, I guess you can get moon balls in that generation. Uh, let's deposit that egg that I just collected. And we'll take out the one that I just put in. Empoleon Pup. That's right. The person on Discord blocked me from liking their posts. They probably they probably were trying to get dislikes on it though. That's what that's the reason, JJ. You miss the Pokemon when throwing a ball at legendaries, right? Yes. You get to knock it down to like red health or low health, I guess. He throw the Pokeball, it's like, you missed! Mm. Not even zero shakes. Hey, Sax, how's it going? Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing those, uh... Somewhat looking forward to doing the, uh, the birds. I, I think it, they take about 45, 50 seconds per, per check on the Gen 1 legendaries. So, you know, whatever, 25 seconds per, per check if I'm doing it on two devices, which is the same length of time it took me per Deoxys check. So the progression will be, uh, will be slow like Deoxys. Good, and you? Pretty good, Zax. Pretty good. Four hundred encounters for Arceus. Hopefully, get to a thousand by the end of the week. Yeah, I mean, you could you could do it. It's just gonna take some time. That's all. I like having extra eggs just in case. I don't like being in a position here where where I hatch an egg and there's not another egg waiting for me. Uh, check two birds at once. Yeah, you can. You can. It's just each each uh, Gen One bird check takes about 50 seconds or so. So if I'm doing it on on two devices at once, then it's two checks every 50 seconds. So like one one every 25 seconds, which is how long it would take me to do a Deoxys check. Him bob his head back and forth to the bike in the tunes. Oh yeah, it's good tunes. Chance to get Pokerus. Um, gee, Soul Silver Pokerus is like what one in twenty-seven thousand or something. It's ridiculously low odds. But then yeah, once you get it, you it'll spread to the rest of your team. Did you did you trade for any Pokemon? Because I know sometimes people would trade to 3 out of 65... Oh, 3 out of 65,000? Okay. Yeah, so whatever whatever that is. 1 in 21,000 or whatever it is. It's really, really low odds. Alright. 16 pincer eggs so far. We're one quarter of the way to odds already. One quarter of the way to odds. Mm. Okay. All right. Even another egg waiting for me. Oh, look at this! An egg hatching! Number 17! That's a great number 17 is. Ah, not shiny though. Pokerus on a wild Pokemon years and years ago. Been keeping that bug alive through the generations. Really, which uh, Pokemon was it there? 
Oops. Gen 3 Bulbasaur needs to hurry up, yeah. I saw Sauce McGavin got his uh, Bulbasaur. And then he got Mankey Shiny real early. Either Gen 3 or 4. You said you've been keeping that bug alive through the generations, but you don't remember... But I'm, which Pokemon was it, though? You don't even remember what it was? Sebastian! Uh, too lazy to read the title. What are we hunting? Pinsir. <laughs> you got Pokerus in Gen 8. I did too, but I think it was, I think it originated on my Ditto that I, that I got from a trade. When I used that trade code to get a foreign Ditto, I think it had Pokerus on the Ditto. Yeah, I know, you're ready to move on there, Meta Champion. Oh, okay, so you meant, when you said keeping the bug alive, you just meant keeping that Pokerus alive. Yeah, so you don't remember which Pokemon had it, but you've been, yeah, but you, you're, but you still have that original Pokerus virus still spreading to new Pokemon. Pokerus makes EV training uh, faster. If your Pokemon, yeah, bug is in sickness. I thought you meant like a bug type Pokemon. But yeah, when uh, it uh, it raises your Pokemon stats at a faster rate, essentially. When you're 15, you got Pokerus in your Diamond version early on in the game, and it was like, what's Pokerus? You like the purple tag? No, it is good. Ma oh, you got a wonder trade in a Mawile and a Beast Ball. Okay. Okay. 67 likes. Almost at that beautiful number 70. Artist trainer will fight in the game as the champion. Yeah. I guess, what's the hardest trainer in this game? Is it red, right? In Mount Silver? Is Pikachu or something is like level 83? Weaponizing something as innocent as liking, only children do that. Um, I don't know what you mean by weaponizing liking, but I, I don't know, they, 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 maybe they just don't like you. How do you know they blocked you for because, they, because you were liking? Maybe it was something else. That Pikachu is a one-shot guaranteed, basically. Uh, yeah, I guess with a ground-type move. And then he's got that really tanky Snorlax as well. Nightmares from the Volo fight. Yeah, that was a tough one. Basically, had like eight Pokemon. Yeah, Banks not shutting down in April. Um, it is shutting down. We just don't have the official date yet. Yeah, can't control other people's opinions of it. Just who cares? Ignore it. Move on. It's not worth uh, it's not worth even thinking about. All right, egg number 18. 1 in 64 chance that this is going to be shiny. It is not shiny. I I disagree that it's childish behavior. I don't think you know why they blocked you. You may suspect that it's because of that. You don't know why. But if somebody doesn't like you, that doesn't mean they're childish, right? Somebody blocks you, doesn't mean they're being childish. It's just maybe they don't like you. There's people who are fine people, good people. Good people, nothing wrong with them. But I don't like them because I don't I don't care for their personality. Right? I think I think there's nothing wrong with some people, but uh, just they, they may have a different personality that I that I care for, and uh, so I don't like them. So I I pretend that I like them in the chat like shinies. I don't think. Oh wait, he is here. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, not to block certain people, yeah, if it's better for their own well-being. Maybe... Maybe they just are tired of you liking everything. Maybe they think you're being a stalker. Not shiny on the pincer number 19. To take away someone's ability to like is another level. But maybe you're liking too much and they and they feel like you're being like a stalker or a creep or something. Like, why is this guy liking all of my posts? Like, that's weird. You never know what's going on in somebody's mind. Yeah, overbearing, exactly. You never know, right? That's right. They're not they're not playing God. They just don't want to they just don't want to interact with you. That's all. You don't have the right. You don't have the right to interact with somebody. That is not a right that you have. They can't stop you from liking other people's posts, but they certainly can stop you from liking their own posts. That's like saying if that, I mean, that's like saying, oh, how dare that person say, don't talk to me. They're being, they're being a child. I should, how, how dare they be, play God? If I want to talk to somebody, I should be allowed. No, no. You don't, you don't get to be involved in people's lives if they don't want you to be. Um, people, people have the right to, uh, to cut people out of their lives if they don't like that person. That's not them being childish. 73 likes we're at. 73. Uh, Rosie made it when I couldn't react to her post back in the day because I'd thumbs down every shiny post they put because they were from seeded dens. Yeah, and if somebody doesn't like you disliking their posts, then they can block you from interacting as well. All right, egg number 20. Can we get a shiny at egg number 20? Oh, no pincer on 20 eggs. One in 64 chance. It's your, it's in your right if you want. No, it's not your right to, to be able to like or dislike somebody's content. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it was the only reaction it got? Oof. Uh, withdraw. Yeah, too many people think their rights are getting taken away. Look at this! I collect the egg and then that stinky old man. He just literally gets an egg right away. You know, of all this time, I've been uh, been moving up and down the bike. That old man probably hasn't even showered one time. But, I mean, neither have I, right? And if I'm riding the bike all the time. Old guy stingy with the eggs. Yep, if you have different Pokemon. Different Pokemon with the same trainer ID, it's like a 4% chance or something. Every 250 steps, it's like a 4% chance there'll be an egg. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. More shinies today than Kem has gotten in a month! That's right. Well, what did I get in, in the last month? One shiny? I guess two, probably. Three. Drenched in sweat, riding back and forth. Yeah, just so much sweat. What's he supposed to eat for breakfast? Oh man, shiny pincer eggs for breakfast.
No, I don't, uh, I don't, I uh, don't agree with you, JJ. Living in a secluded world of, of menace. Maybe this person, maybe this person has dealt with people following them and, and, uh, and interacting with, in a way that's made them very uncomfortable. And when they see you liking their posts all the time, Maybe that's not the way you feel, but maybe they, they see similarities to something that's happened in the past and they'd rather just play it safe. It doesn't mean they're being childish, right? You're walking, to, you're walking down the street at night and, uh, and there's somebody in front of you and you're walking behind them and they feel creeped out and they cross the street. It doesn't mean they're being childish, right? It means they just, they don't know and they just want to play it safe kind of thing. They're assuming, yes, as in, and there's nothing wrong with that. You've heard that uh, that story better safe than sorry, right? Yeah, that's right. You're you're also assuming that they're that they're doing it for childish purposes or whatever. You never know. What uh, do you need, Zax? What's the favor that you need? <laughs> Nuzleaf has nips. What's up with that? What the heck it does? What about uh, what about that uh, that one uh, prince or king in the Mario Three castle? Who does that? But but on the flip side, you gotta you gotta look at other people from other perspectives though. Sometimes maybe they're thinking, what kind of person goes and likes all of the posts? Right? You never know, right? Next time you're out in a boat and you get wet, yell out that you're soaked to the bone. Um, I'm not gonna do that, Sax. Why, why would I, why would I do that? You wouldn't even be there to see it. Hey, J-Dub, what's going on? Just because. You just randomly uh, want me to just randomly yell out, I'm soaked to the bone! <laughs> and then everybody look at me like I'm some weirdo. bum 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 Pretty much. Okay, so in other words, the favor that I gotta do is make myself look foolish. For no reason other than to, to, to entertain you. You were frozen today. It's, I mean, it's pretty cold here too. It's like minus uh, 14 or something again. Mm, the Muffin Man. Don't do it, say you did. Exactly, you'd never know. How loud does it have to be? Like, can I just say it in 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 a in my normal booming voice, or does it, do I gotta like really yell it out loud so that people like a uh, hundred meters away can hear me? Okay, thanks, uh, Will. It can be normal, so I could just be like, Oh, I'm soaked to the bone! Because that's not that embarrassing. <laughs> uh, yes, you're not a crab, that's right. You're Sebastian, but not, not the crab. From Little Mermaid. 
You're not the one that lives under the sea. The newt play the flute, the carp play the harp, the place play the bass, and they sound and sharp. The boss play the brass, the chub play the tub. Yeah, that's exactly what a crab would say. Exactly. I'm not a crab. That's a good point. That's what all the guilty people say. They say they're not guilty. So many bangers in the little... I know, the Little Mermaid soundtrack's really good. Last time we went to Disney, we had to ride the, the Little Mermaid ride like uh, two, three, four times a day. We were there for five five days in the park. We probably went on that, on that uh, ride like 20 times. My kids loved it. Terra Raid uh, Knacklestack. You got a shiny Leanna bunny. That's awesome. You found a hosted one. Right on. Electabuzz Muffin Man. You got Electabuzz 146 seen and owned in the decks. Five more to go. That's a lot of times going on. I know my kids liked it, right? They were too small to go on like uh, Space Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain and the Matterhorn and and, and the big rides. So we went on the little kid rides with them. Charmander and a Beast Ball? Um, yeah, I think, you, I think you know exactly how you got that. The same way you probably got a lot of the other Pokemon from Wonder Trades. Not enough claws, trust me. What they can hunt and peck? They can just... Type like that, you know? You last went to Disney when you were five-ish. I, I love, uh, I love Disneyland. JJ's a Baconarian. There you go. You only, literally only eat bacon. Not a shiny, so I want to know how. Um, it's probably because it's hacked, like a lot of the other ones you're getting. Ham, when you're ordering pizza, but it's a national brands only, which one do you order from? Typically, Domino's, because it's cheap. You wish you only ate bacon? Well, that's, uh, you should, you should be glad that you don't only eat bacon. Because that'd be really, really unhealthy. Egg number 21! Number 21! Not shiny! Beast Ball in Gen 8 9 is super easy. Well, Gen 9 at least. How in Gen 8 would you get a, a starter in a Beast Ball? I guess through the Terror Raids, maybe? That's true. I forgot what game you're you're playing in. Non-Mom and Pop Pizza in a while, what I did was Papa John's. Okay. Yeah, Charmeleon's in the DAs. Deposit, pincer. I mean, it could be. It could have just been a, a one that was bred. Like, uh, made an egg, and that's a Dragon Dance is an egg move. Thanks for the 79 likes. Let's get it up to 100. Charmander through Island Scan. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, if you can get Charmander through Island Scan, that's a good point. You can get it in a Beast Ball. Rip last message. Yeah, your last message is the same. Rip last message. Um, 21 pincer eggs and no shiny yet. At what point uh, the Beast Balls and Gen 8s? Anyway, all the Ultra Beasts were in the dens. 100% uh, accurate? Hold on, what? There's another egg. Yeah, he's ripping his last message in the message before. Yeah, it's way too far up there now. Your last message has been ripped. So you gotta you gotta post it again. Too far back now. I can't I can't be scrolling around in the chat all the time. Throw the mustache back so you can call you Papa Kem. Without the mustache, it'd be weird. 
We got we got a few months before the mustache comes back in November. Island scan is so underrated. Ultra Sun and Moon for general play. Yeah, I hunted a couple Pokemon uh, through Island Scan on live stream. We got the Greninja and I believe Chespin. Well, not our our I should say Chestnut. I never did uh, the Delphox though. Um, 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 ba, da, uh, need to leave Kaitaro. Uh, thanks for the luck. Thank you for the luck. Saving Mewtwo for last besides missing no, so that Mewtwo can meet Mew. There you go. Island scan. Yeah, you just have to make sure you save the game before using the island scan. That way, if you don't get the shiny, you can reset and then reuse the island scan. And if you save after activating the island scan, then you only get that one hour. 24 hour daily adventure incense. Caught 796 Pokemon on a 4,100, meter adventures. 41 kilometers, almost 42 kilometers. That's a, that's a long way to go. Uh, um, uh, uh, though, uh, to be fair, 40, uh, 42 kilometers in 24 hours is not actually that far. I, I walk at maybe like 5 kilometers per hour, so... Uh, Cam, you know you want to trade me every Pokemon in Ultra Sun so you can have that charm? Oh yeah, for sure. We'll just, uh, we'll sit there for 3 or 4 hours touch trading everything. First Gen 7 playthrough so far. You like Alola? It's a good game. It is, J-Dub. Few years Alola games will get the love that Gen 5 received over the last few years. I think Alola is well received, wasn't it? I wouldn't let you down twice, no. You go ahead, Will, and you put in that trade code and you just wait for me, okay? And if I don't show up, just keep waiting, because I probably forgot. But you just keep waiting, and waiting, and waiting. Right? I'll probably eventually be there, maybe. Confession, I've never played a Gen 5 game. It's pretty good. I think part of the reason people didn't like it uh, when it first came out is because you were uh, you were locked to only getting the new Generation 5 Pokemon until post-game. And people didn't like that. People wanted the, their, their, their favorites in the game right away. Slightly overshadowed by the Switch, maybe. It's a it's a good game for sure. Complain about the cutscenes, which is fair, but once you beat the game, yeah. It is it's one of the one of my favorite games to shiny hunt in, but yeah, that's right, especially early game. There's so many cutscenes. I, I remember there's one part early in the game where you have to go through all this dialogue, and then you literally walk for like five seconds, and then there's another whole pile of dialogue you gotta go through. It's like really I just wanna play the game. Like I don't need to be Doing all this nonsense. Alright, egg number 22. 22. Can we get the shiny pincer? No pincer shiny on number 22. Dialogue after you delete for maybe not want to touch it again. It's, um... Yeah, there, that's right, I forgot it, because it's been a while since I played actually through the game. I forgot, yeah, there's a lot of cutscenes in it. Only real negative thing about Gen 7 is the lack of viable mons until you hit level 30-ish, okay. You thought how was annoying until you met Hop. Did my game just, like, glitch there or something? It looked funny. Oops! That dang hop, man. Snubble! 
To be honest, I detested Sword and Shield when I first played them. The lack of storyline really did it for me. Replaying the DLC adds a great amount of content. That's right. You do get a lot of uh, a lot of content with the DLC. Yeah, How is just uh, vibing in his own world, eating his uh, mess salads. Or mess salad salads. Salad does, however you say that. Yeah, and then hop to... Oh, wow, you beat me in battle again. This is so fun. You're my best friend. <laughs> Under chicken, how does a shiny odds work with ditto? So I'm using a shiny ditto. Mess salads. But then there's an A at the end, right? Uh, I'm using a shiny ditto, so every single egg is 1 in 64 chance. If you have a shiny ditto in there. Talk about the story, just good mons, a nice map. Don't hold my hand. There was a lot of hand holding in, in Gen 7. How many cutscenes are when you get to the school in Gen 9? Yeah, I mean Yeah, I mean there gotta be some cutscenes, but sometimes you just wanna play the game. And and try to figure things out yourself. Neon's a terrible champion, you say Skyward Door. I lost again! Oh yeah, you don't like that. Another snubble. Training section is painful in that game. In that game, Shadows of uh, Almia. I I don't even know that game. Oh, you just tired of hearing him whine? All right, here we go. Number twenty-three. Twenty-three eggs. Not shiny. Too confusing with multiple islands. Tried something different with island challenges. Yeah, yeah, it was a, still a good game. Minus all the early cutscenes. It, it was a good game. I really did enjoy it. Random uh, snubble, a shiny snubble one day. I was thinking the same thing. Hate when they force you to battle. I like that in... Uh, I like that in the at least in the new generation you you don't have to battle any trainers. But yeah, sometimes you, you get forced to battle, especially when you like maybe you skip a trainer and then like you're you're way later in the game when you get your super high level team and it's like, "Oh yeah, I just ran into that fisherman who has six magic harps." I'm so excited to do that battle. Like why why yeah, why do I have to battle this person? I think it was good that they got uh it would what they got uh, they got rid of that in Gen 9. I also don't stalk people, Cam, I'm not a creep. Oh you're st still on this JJ. You're still on it. Yeah, but that person feels like they're being stalked. Maybe they feel your advances are unwelcome. Um. All right, here. Let's uh, put this egg in. Get a couple extra eggs. Randomly, fifteen minutes later. Yeah. You know what I think is too bad. You can't do online trades in the virtual console uh, versions of these games. You can trade between two nearby devices, but you can't uh, you can't do anything online. Missed it, but Shadow Mall me. Oh, Pokemon Ranger 2. Oh, gotcha, okay. Not saying rip your touchscreen if you play a Ranger game. Is it uh is you gotta use the touchscreen a lot? Yeah, I wonder why they thought giving a trainer six useless Magikarp is a good idea. And you don't and you don't even get any like good experience from it. It's just a big waste of time that battle. Egg number 24. Egg number 24. Not shiny on the pincer. I hop bacon and pancakes. Mmm. Huh? Yeah. An egg's hatching? What's going on here? Mmm. Bacon and pancakes. I like pancakes. Uh, pincer, release, exclusively touch base screen, movement in the overworld, to catch the mons, rapidly draw circles around them. Oh, really? 
I haven't, uh, I, I still need to play through Ranger. And, uh, so that I can, I can get the Manaphy Egg or whatever. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why the copy of Ranger I bought, the, the guy never finished it. He didn't get the Ranger net. Maybe he just hated the touchscreen controls so bad that he's just like, forget this game. Yeah, six Magikarp. That's like an annoying battle. Uh, nah, 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 nah. The drivers either come from north or south to get to this town. It's never east or west. Oh, okay. So you gotta you gotta leave uh, you gotta leave north or south of the city. There's no roads to the east or the west. He was like, I've had it with this game. Six Magikarp, I don't even care anymore. That's right, that's where the warehouses come from, I guess. Yeah, on that note, if you do play it, don't play in a special edition console. Play on one that's not expensive to replace. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I rarely use the touchscreen for anything if I, if I can avoid it. But it sounds like I'm gonna need to in Ranger. Hey, Aerie! What's up? New Pokemon game, I always anticipate Fisherman to be the six Magikarp guy, that's right. Just, you just, you just, your hands are shaking. You're sweating. You're like, is this gonna be the one? You got uh, just a pocket full of uh, handkerchiefs just to wipe your head every time. I want DS like the touchscreen and only dust on it, so I refuse to use it. Oh! So you like, you, so it's never been touched. Just suffering from this awful air quality. Lots of fi Ooh, fires nearby. That's no good. Need to hear and see some Gen 2 sparkles, Cam. That's, uh, that's right. Though they don't, uh, they don't sparkle when they hatch from an egg. Speaking of eggs hatching, number 25 coming up. Not shiny. Fires already. Well, this is pretty far south there. Getting the air purifier soon. Okay. Whoa, Chris gifting a uh, membership as well. Look at Will Hello, got it. Channel member. What do they call that? A snipe? There you go. Um, oh, see, I didn't want to deposit that. I wanted to release it. I'm running out of PC eggs. Microwavable gifts. That's right, crisp microwave with a poly toad image. Police, fire truck, ambulances, sirens every day, yeah. Also depends where you live. Like, if you live near really main, like a main route, then you hear them all the time. Went back to linear style pathing games and made a six magic carp guy a regular trainer on a route that you had to face. You had to fight him. I wouldn't mind seeing another linear style Pokemon game. Oh, it must have ended today. Yeah, I guess so. Because you've been a member a long time, Will. Oh, they're lit on purpose here, uh, to make room for more buildings, yeah, just easier, I guess, than cutting them down. Faster and cheaper, I guess, JJ. Mm, hey, Kitsune, how's it going? How are we doing today? 86 likes, thank you everybody. And add more Pokemon if they want to continue with the open world. Like, do you mean, uh, you mean like a unique Pokemon or do you mean like uh, the overworld's too barren? Oh, it's too empty for you. I thought, I thought it was a good balance. 
That's right, it's free and there's no worry burning buildings down since the buildings are made of cement. Also bad for the environment. Oh, bless your soul, JJ. Thinking that companies actually care about the environment more than money. Oh, as in things to do. Okay, not Pokemon. Just things to do in, in the... Okay, gotcha. Uh, the, the, oh, Canyon Arrow? Yeah, that car. That thing was huge. Implement more RPG-style gameplay quests, all that. They should, but they don't, because this is how businesses work. Government here doesn't fund safe removal of nature, so it's up to people who want to build in the buildings, yeah. Canyon Arrow song stuck in your head, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, yellow legendary wormhole, 4100, there you go. If there's no world and people, how do they get money? Uh, the world will be around uh, long until after they're gone, right? They don't care about the future. They're not ruining their own future. You're ruining other people's future, they don't care. Oh, there's another OBS disconnect, but we're back. We are back. Stream's back, yeah, my OBS disconnected for some reason, I, I don't know why. I'm enabling cheats. Yeah, I swear if the next if the next egg is shiny, people are gonna think I'm cheating for sure. I was saying Green Day, right? Back in elementary school, I remember drawing a, 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 a making my own little poster for Green Day, and my teacher was like so proud because she thought she didn't know Green Day was a band. She thought it was like Earth Day, and that I was making a poster about like uh, the environment and saving the environment. <laughs> and she like told my parents at a meeting like. Oh, he, we're, I'm so proud of him. He cares about the environment. <laughs> but it was a, it was just Green Day the band. Uh, Canyon Arrow is unsafe for highway and city driving. That's right. Literally anything except for off roading. That's the only thing. Earth Day, yeah. He ran at brown eyes. Uh, what color are the brown eyes? I don't know. Wake me up when pollution ends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she thought it was like, uh, it was some sort of like, uh, pro-environmental uh, poster or whatever. She didn't realize it was a band. Yeah, Shiny Heatran has pink eyes. Not to be confused with pink eye. Conjunctivitis, that's no good. Raphael, what method am I using? I am breeding with a Shiny Ditto. So I've got Pinsir in the nursery with a shiny ditto. So it is a 1 in 64 chance. JJ likes that story. I like stories. Deposit, here we go. And we'll go get another one. I walk this grassy road. Lots of trees and... Helps me to breathe. <laughs> uh, when is bank closing? Yeah, get out of here, J-Dub. Doth Heatran have pink eye? TJ the fish, what's up? Cat was playing with me, scratched your hand. Yeah, they'll do that. Cat scratch, even that Sprigatito, man. Scratched uh, Nico's, or Lico's hand or whatever. close on you if you don't play the game. Uh... That's right, JJ. They definitely are people who are uninformed. Or they are informed and they just don't care. Does this Pokemon be of much sparkles? Not yet, but it will. 
Someone needs to make a bingo, yeah, a, a Chem, Chem Nation bingo chat uh, card. Episode 3, yeah, I think I got to like episode 3 and then my daughter kind of didn't want to watch. She started playing Pokemon Sword. So she likes, uh, she, she's been enjoying playing Pokemon Sword. I forget what she named all of her Pokemon. She named it like, uh, one of them like, uh, Cute in Town. And, and like, Cutie Pie and Cutie Pie 2 and all these like funny names. I wasn't uninformed, just discovered life at 16. And here you are, three years later, with all this life experience. I didn't watch Airbender, no, yet. Not yet. My, uh, my kids were not too interested in it. Come on, Cam! What are you doing? I gotta watch the Airbender. It's not even, apparently, it's, yeah, it's not even that many episodes, right? Uh, definitely different for me, but weird, uh, in a weird, fun, chaotic way. There you go. And now you're a big boy, JJ. You're, you're living on your own. You're potty trained, all the good stuff. The, the, the world is your oyster. You can do whatever you want. You can uh, you can grab your skip rope and go down the sidewalk skipping down the ro with a skip rope. And nobody can tell you otherwise. Eight episodes over an hour long each uh, for the live action. Enjoying it? Okay, alright. Little clunky acting wise, but, you, but you're enjoying the, uh, the live action. J-Dub, your girlfriend finished watching uh, Avatar Last Airbender and, I don't know, L-O-K, but she loved uh, the show. Okay. Uh, Sword, uh, it's a pretty good game. I remember all the leaks. Oh, the leaks. Yeah, the controversy over the national decks and all that, and the trees. That's right. Um, Noah Ringer quit acting because of threats received M. Night Shyamalan's film? Really? Who, what, what uh, role did he play? I think that really gets me, yeah, that's, uh, I don't think any actor should be like, uh, it should, that should happen, right? Uh, 5k for Giratina and Platinum. All right, still under odds at Xander, but I hope you get it soon. The weird way you like to grind because finding out life is its ups and downs is kind of cool. That's right. You're going to grind up some, uh, some meat. Over the trees, yeah, because people want to complain about anything. People like to complain, Muffin Man, and uh, the people will always find something to complain about. Played Aang in the last uh, movie, but what was this about uh, M. Night Shyamalan, though? What, I wanted to know, because I didn't watch uh, the Airbender movie. I'm talking about uh, M. Night Shyamalan, unless he made the Airbender movie. Oh, Legend of Korra, okay. Continuation, gotcha. Yeah, people complain about complaining. They should stop that. I don't like when they do that. Makes me mad. Best and worst director ever. He made The Sixth Sense, but he also made The Happening. I, f I like his movies. They're all very similar. It's they're they're kind of good stories, but the acting's not the great and the greatest, and the writing's not the greatest. You got good ideas, good stories, but the execution isn't always there. <laughs> I love that hot dogs guy in The Happening. You guys eat hot dogs, right? And then just like, she has this big smile. Shakes her head no with a big smile on her face. I'm like, what is this movie? <laughs> All right. Ooh, that sounds like uh, Thunderous. Or Tornadus in the wormhole. 
Good idea, guy. Not uh, the the execution is not always the greatest. The happenings of fever dream. Nah, it all real. It all really happened. Clueless face. Yeah, it needs to be in every M Night Shyamalan movie. Yeah. What's that one line he says? Something about you just saying one useless thing after an X or something, and it just seems really bad. Oh, the deleted scene. I never saw the deleted scene. Oh, M. Night Shyamalan. Di okay, he did direct. Okay, the airbender. So that's what you're talking about then. Dragon Ball Evolution. You don't want to watch that. Um... Foxy going shopping at the end of the wormhole, that's right. What are we talking about? We were talking about some movies. Some M. Night Shyamalan movies. Michael Scott's a next door neighbor from The Office. <laughs> Alright, I gotta look up the delete. Dude just lays down in front of a lawnmower. I thought that's in the movie. I swear I've seen that. In the movie. Unless, like, some versions, I just have that uh, in there. Uh, do you have your Dragon Ball do-rag for the, for the weekend? No, I still, it still has not arrived in the mail for me. I've been, I've been waiting. I've been waiting, checking the mail every day for a package from Saks with a Dragon Ball do-rag. It hasn't showed up. Uh, you're a fan. I saw the extended version. You know what? As bad as that movie is, I do like the happening. Just buy a do-rag, but it's not a Dragon Ball do-rag, is it, JJ? Not shiny! Egg number 26! I don't know, we- I, I said uh, Sunday. Sunday is our member-a-thon. And I've got it set at 500 uh, new channel members. If we get 500 channel members during the stream, uh, the Chem Nation hair all goes away, it disappears. Uh, when I was in sixth grade, says Christian. Field trip. Cheating nation. That's right. I got sick of. Uh, I got sick of the uh, the twenty six eggs. Yeah, I keep. I just keep getting a message like an OBS. The uh, it uh, it's disconnecting an OBS. Green butterfly hole. Okay. Let's see what you get in the green one. Yeah, I don't think it's the internet provider. I don't know what it is. I've got fiber internet. And, uh, you know, g gigabit internet. I, I haven't really had any issues. I think just sometimes... It uh, just has trouble, like, uh, connecting or something. I don't know. Alright, egg number 27. Definitely not a hacked egg here. Not shiny! Dang, I kind of was hoping that would have been... Kicking all of us viewers out of Frosty Stream. Really? Kicking you out of it? Chat has been disconnecting lately. Okay, maybe it is YouTube being buggy then. Is the shiny purple in the game? I think it's kind of purplish, purple blue. To be honest, I'm not 100% sure. The exact coloring. I think it's similar. Could just be YouTube, that's true. It could just be that uh, that OBS is trying to send the data to... Oh, look at that! I collect the egg and then this old man right away instantly has an egg. Uh, deposit... an egg. 
streams from a mobile access point. Oh, okay. There we go. My goodness, we were surprised. Look at this. I hatched 128 star you eggs. Another 27 eggs plus the extra eggs, and his old man's still surprised. Very forgetful in his old age, I guess. Every egg that this guy finds is like he's discovering a new egg for the first time. Mm, you only slow down when you hit the energy balls. Um, you th wait. So you thought the, the the normal energy balls slowed you down? Well, like the blue bear, the blue ones do. A silk bonnet if you sent me one. I mean... I, if I had a reason to wear it. He won't let you use the internet router directly for security reasons. Oh! Oh, that's kind of lame. Oh, after you hit the first one. Oh, no, yeah, every time. They're helpful. Cute and helpful. Here we go, egg number 28. Egg number 28. Hey Roman, how's it going? Not shiny on 28. Shopping time, all right. Getting, uh, we're four eggs away from being halfway to odds. Alright. Deposit. Ooh, look at that pincer egg. That was an early one. And withdraw this egg. Friends with a big YouTuber. He has 3k subs. That's a lot of subs. Jennifer Lopez absolutely hates Trey Parker and Matt Stone from South Park. Uh, I don't know who those people are. Well, I know who, who, who Jennifer Lopez is, but I don't know the other ones. Why is the thing all glitchy? Dragon Ball Do-Rag, yes. I've, I've heard that song. He's out there spraying, uh, spraying the hose with his Dragon Ball Do-Rag on. Oh, they're the creators of South Park. Okay. Yeah, I haven't watched South Park in probably 20 years. 29 eggs! Come on, can we get a shiny pincer? Mmm, not shiny. Yeah, Sax made uh, sure that I heard it. Ba oh, they made basketball. Roman subscribed too. Thanks, Roman. Appreciate that, Roman. A warehouse in 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 Leduc, Leduc. I, I don't know what that is, but okay. And you like? Thank you. We're at 91 likes, nearly 100. But you're telling me at uh, it'll be at 64 exactly. Team America. Yeah, I guess I haven't seen much of their stuff. You never want to watch South Park again. Leduc. Oh, you're Russian from Russia. I'm from Canada. I live in Canada land. How's the weather over there? It's minus 7 degrees Celsius here. Oh, you're from the Earth. Look at that. Another egg. That's hatching fast. 30th egg. Not shiny on pincer egg at number 30. One in 64 chance. 23 degrees. Whoo, I'm jealous. JJ's from Pluto. I just live here. That's probably why your conversations are like 15 minutes behind. Oh, but you, you move. Oh, you're from Pluto, but you're not living there. That's right. Uh, oh, I've already got an egg uh, waiting for me. From Canada, Ice South Park have puppet head with all black small eyes. That's basically yeah, Canada. 
My OBS is whack. No, my OBS doesn't have anything to do with the chat, though. Only the footage comes from OBS. Pluto's a planet. Don't let the government lie to you. Yeah. Pluto, Pluto lost its planetary status. It's either, either, either Pluto's no longer a planet, or they gotta add, like, a whole bunch of other planets to the solar system. Mexican, a little bit German, okay. Two hours late storm run, what the heck. Yeah, they, they changed the definition of what makes a planet. Otherwise, if Pluto was a planet, we yeah, we'd have like we'd have so many other planets in our solar solar system. Bigger, longer, uncut, probably the favorite musical ever. I think that's probably the last thing I've ever seen of South Park. Forty one degrees where you were in Russia, yeah, that's pretty hot. All right, we got 30 eggs. We're almost halfway to odds here. We're more than nah, actually we're not. We're not quite uh, halfway through the live stream. I might, I might. Well, we are, but uh, we're about halfway through the live stream or so. Yeah, from Canada land. That's where I'm from. The land of ice and maple maple syrup. That time you made Whitney cry, yes. I, I did make her cry in the game. I, I was a big meanie, that's right. Imagine being a gym leader and like, you crying whenever you lose the battle. Third, Scraggy and Pomo. Uh, oh, is Scraggy a boosted in Pogo? I've not got a shiny uh, Scraggy yet. The action if you failed the Deoxys, I honestly, I would be probably sick to my stomach. Like, no joke. I'd probably have the worst feeling in my stomach. I still can't believe it that the, that the, that the, the, it just so happened to be by fate's design. I don't believe in fate. But the night before I got shiny Deoxys, I found out that I had a mistake in my plan and I very likely uh, would have failed the Deoxys. Stupid rollout mill tank, yeah. My uh, my strategy for that, depending on the Pokemon I had, I would either have uh, smoke. Uh, uh, what's that move? Smoke screen on uh, my Cyndaquil, or I'd catch a Pidgey and have it sand attack, and I'd just hit it with sand attack or smoke screen. Because rollout only increased damage if every every time it hit, if it missed, then it would reset. So I'd just keep hitting it to reduce the accuracy. You've never seen poor people in Pokemon. Well, you don't know. You don't know what their financial situation is. These people right now, they could be they could have no money, you don't know. Usually evolve type uh into Typhlosion Flame Wheel and you're good. Well, yeah, I think by the time you get to Whitney, you could probably have your fully evolved starter. For your birthday, she had anxiety to coax and comfort her. Uh, Courtney Cox and comfort her, and eventually she just plopped down and was at ease with the company. There you go. This is just a little bit nervous. Maybe not anxiety, just a little bit nervous with the with the unfamiliar people. I don't, uh, Roman, no. There are burglars in Fire Red uh, that Leaf Green. They're not living good. Or they're living very well, and that's why they do it. Uh, your birthday's in the summer, mine too. I got a summer birthday. You hate the summer? See, I prefer summer over winter. I'm not sure how cold it gets where you are, but... Um, Maybe maybe spend a couple winters here and then you'll uh, you'll appreciate summer a little bit more. July sixth, yeah, that's a little bit, but that's a week before my birthday. 
Especially the burglars in the mansion, that's right. Cinnabar, a Cinnabar Island mansion, right? There's probably all kinds of goods in there. All right, I've got uh, I got extra eggs in here now. Cold is your specialty. So how um how cold does it get where you live? That's the question. That's what I'd like to know. Whose birthday? Yo, yours is July 12th. Yep, mine's uh, mine's July 13th. You should start using hacked Pokemon. Why would I do that? Why, why would I want to do that? Already feels like early summer here. Ugh. I wish. Yeah, it's it's cold here. We uh, this. I don't think at all this week, and most of next week, we're not gonna reach uh, melting temperatures. Still, still colder than uh, it's freezing temperatures. Still, July eleventh. Okay, to twenty eighth. I mean, there's seventy seven people here. There are two people here today, right now, that have the same birthday. Guaranteed. Well, I actually know two of my moderators have the same birthday. And they've both been here today, so. Uh, 1 times 1 plus 1 minus 1 times 1 is, uh, is 1. Is it, though? 1 plus 1 is 2. Minus 1. That's right, it is 1. 1 plus 1 minus 1 is 1, that's right. Your birthday was yesterday. Well, happy belated birthday, Lux Ray. You forgot to like 98 likes, though. Now we're at 98 likes. Now we're at 98 likes. We're almost at 100. A lot of ones, that's right. That's the math they tell you that you're never going to use. That's right. Oh no, is A drive down to a 999k? Shoot, man. Yeah, his YouTube channel is like dead. I don't know if he still posts on YouTube. Because he was at like 1.1, I think, million or something. YouTube's gonna come knocking on his door. He's gonna take, uh, they're gonna take back that golden play button. What if he hits a million subscribers again, then does he get another golden play button? Like gold man. Oh, we hit the hundred likes. Thank you, everybody. Very affectionate in her 50s. Yeah, she's an old she's an old one. How many human years is she? Like how how many how many years old is she? In in cat years or human years, or how, however you say that. Ah, uh, you got the Vaporeon, so 148, so uh, one more to go, and then I guess and then I guess you're going for Mewtwo, right? Transfer to old gens and new gens when bank is shut down. Um, I'm not sure if there's any any new. 56, okay, well cat ears then. How many how many uh, how many trips around the sun has uh, Smudge taken? Ten in ten days. Okay, well, she's still pretty young. Make videos again uh, when YouTube comes and takes the golden prize. Yeah. Bank is the man DJ of this uh, channel. That's right. We got to talk about Pokemon Bank because it is gonna shut down. I think they actually did, like, say it will be going away. They just don't... It's just not yet. Like, it's not going to be around forever. Little Easter Bunny. Aw, cute. But that's not the day you got her, then. That's the day she was born. Boom, 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 boom. 
Two I need before Mewtwo or the Kabuto line. Ah, okay. Kijiji had actually said free Easter bunnies. Oh, to a good home. Okay. So they're all, all born on, on Easter Day. But not, not this Easter. Well, Easter is a different day every year, though. You'd have to, I guess, go back and see what day of the month Easter was on that year. Uh, eating chicken and sausage gumbo. That sounds good. I may have to make some more jerk chicken. No Pokemon Bank shut down, but no transport. You can sue Nintendo. Yeah, you're never going to be able to sue them for that. All right, Pincer Egg, come on now. Come on, Pincer. My guess is they're not gonna they're not gonna shut it down until Legends uh, Z Day comes out, the new Legends game. If a thousand fans sue Nintendo, they'll all lose. I don't I don't think there's a court in the world that would even see that case. There'd be no grounds for suing Nintendo. You can't just sue somebody because you don't like what they did. Uh, Pokemon Bank shutting down again? Yeah, Wanexander. Yeah, that's right. You got it. Yeah, they probably got more than a thousand lawyers, exactly. I mean, Nintendo sued, uh, or, or at least took legal action against Yuzu, the Nintendo Switch emulator, and got, uh, and they won the $2.4 million settlement and the agreement to take Yuzu. And that scared enough uh, other emulators that other emulators are now going, are getting taken down. To take that case? Yeah, desperate enough. That's right. Yeah, there's, uh, there's already a replacement. Uh, if Yeah, I didn't know there was already one, but yeah. Replacement, do you mean like emulator or do you mean like a replacement server for bank? Sacks. Suzu or something? Yeah, that's um That's risky. That's really risky. Didn't uh, a kid sue Nintendo for false advertising? Maybe. I don't know if he won. Bum ba bum 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 bum. Especially now that Bank is a free service, nobody nobody's paying for Pokemon Bank. It's a free service. They can end it whenever they want. Oh, he did win. Okay, what was the lawsuit? Oh, it got taken down because they started charging for fixes. Really? So Yuzu was no longer uh, necessarily free. They were now profiting off of piracy. Yeah, so that's uh that's it, okay. Yeah, that'll do it, I guess. Man, this has been a long time since an egg has hatched. It's gotta be close. Yeah, it's making sounds inside. Can't, uh, you can't be selling uh, bootleg DVDs and single cigarettes for 65 cents and, and expect to get away from uh, all the legal troubles. Dual hunting uh, these. Nah, I wouldn't dual hunt them. Walked around for 20 minutes before waiting for an egg to hatch. Oh no, but they already were hatched. Ugh, yeah, I've done that too. It's easy to do in the newer games. Got shiny Kabuto and shield after 300 plus eggs. And after 100, you got another one. Nice. So you got both of them in under, in under odds for a single one. Having it out super early before release didn't help, but it was them having patches beyond a paywall. Yeah, okay. 
I didn't I didn't know that they were charging for people, but I did see things that other other emulators are starting to go offline now. Hey Peter, what's up? Uh, this is uh, Crystal, Peter. Pokemon Crystal. Long, long hatch times, but uh, but very good shiny odds. I don't think it'd be hard. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to dual hunt it. It's just. I mean, the odds aren't bad enough that I that I need to dual hunt them, right? Realistically, you could expect to get one shiny every two and a half uh, days, or every every one and a half days, one one live stream or whatever. I don't need I don't need to go any faster than that. It's a lot of lot of extra work to do two at once. Ooh, almost three thousand there on your Zapdos, yuck! Gaming Trico. Oh, they run Citra as well. That's why it's down. Gotcha. Hey, Mister Who, what's up? Nestle caramel cones. Eat uh, 29 for four cones. There you go. I mean, they don't cost that much here, but yikes. That's, yeah, that's too much. Here we go, egg number 31. Not shiny. We're almost at dub, uh, almost at halfway to odds. Almost halfway to odds. Um, so far since I've started ha hatching eggs here in this game, I'm actually under odds, but on average, on the eggs. I figure by the time I'm done hatching, you know, the 200 whatever 40 different Pokemon I'll need to hatch, uh, it'll be it'll be pretty close to 64 eggs on average. Yeah, gold and silver as well. If you breed with a shiny Ditto in gold and silver, you also have the uh, one in 64. Three bucks per cone? Well, that's not what it is, right? That's, uh, uh... That's like two... Less than... It's like two bucks a cone. Two seventy-five. Two fifty. Two bucks. Two twenty-five. Two dollars thirty cents. Two thirty-one. Uh, greetings from the land of French fries. Beer and chocolate. That's got to be Germany. Two dollars and seven cents. There you go. Another egg coming up. Not shiny. Uh, you'll be right back. You're going to leave the stream. Okay. You're gonna leave the stream. That doesn't make sense. E let's see. What did you say? 829? 207 per cone? Yeah, that makes sense. $8.29 divided by 4. Yeah, you're thinking 3 cones, exactly. Deposit pincer. And withdraw an egg. You still don't have any casualties. Nice in your Nuzlocke. <laughs> Halfway to odds here. 32 eggs. 32 eggs. The pincer eggs do take a little bit longer to hatch than uh, some of the other ones. I don't know, um, Sasuke, if you're still hanging out here. Or not. But as long as your name is in the top gifter spot, you will, uh, you get to choose the next hunt if, if a shiny shows up. Is that a toupee that I'm wearing? Um, no comment. You know, you ask if that's a toupee, I'm not gonna lie to you. Just working, okay. Freedom fries, yeah. <laughs> so it was so lame. Hey Sarah, how's it going? How you doing, Sarah? 
All right, another egg, number 33. Egg number 33, come on now. Not shiny, what the heck, man? How could I possibly go halfway to odds and not see a shiny? Is that a scam? There we go, Old Man Rivers got, uh, got an egg ready for me. Lack of sleep making you weird, there you go. Freedom fries, yeah. Freedom's good, too much freedom is bad. Uh, airport, yeah, it's probably probably like a little small one. Private planes. I don't I don't know if there'd be uh it wouldn't probably be any large planes going there. Music's catchy, yeah. Lettyba was your first shiny in gold. Totodal, your first shiny from an egg. Nice. Yeah, I do I do have all the starters. And all of the um from Gen 1 and 2. Not shiny, but the the starters I have them in my PC. Ready to breed whenever. I picked up Mareep uh, this morning. I got Heracross and Pineco ready to go. Those are some of the more challenging ones. Anyone, here we go. 34th egg. Three stone. Congrats, Sarah. Not shiny on egg number 34. Uh, Ed Xander, uh, exclamation point crystal. Or Hefty's got it in there anyway. Thanks, Hefty. Wobburger French cries. What? But he's... Uh, not eating works. Well, or eating less. You shouldn't be not eating at all. Oh, from Joe Dirt. Jeez, Joe Dirt. David Spade. Haven't seen that uh, movie in probably since it first came out. Um, 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 uh, two hour drive. Not, not bad. Uh, from Edmonton to here, so you're pretty close. You want to go to that shopping mall? I guess uh, it'd probably be expensive to get a taxi there. Here we go, 35th egg! Not shiny! 35 eggs. Exclamation point bald cam. Maybe on Sunday. Maybe on Sunday. Draw. There you go. I'm running out of PC eggs again. I'm kind of in this, um, in a cycle where, where uh, the eggs are all hatching, like, very quickly one after another. And then, and then I go a long period of time without, without another egg. In a cycle. Hey, Keith. No eyebrows, Cam. No, I'm not going to shave off my eyebrows. I'm not going to do that. No air purifiers. Yikes. The only one sold out is like $200 for 12 square meter area. How many square feet is that? What'd you do? Multiply that by nine? So that's still a pretty small area. That's like for a bedroom or something, or a living room. Went and watched a, f a few of the first videos on your channel, by the way. Yeah, how'd you like it? Giant fun shopping mall. Yeah, I, I, I've uh, I've never been there, but I uh, heard it's pretty fun. Yeah, indoor water park and all that. Co-worker that can't count how many pieces he makes a day? What? Man is about to get fired. Yeah, that's not good. 
Chemical malpractice nation. What's chemical malpractice? Fun and funny. Yeah, first first time live streaming, first kind of videos, you know, new at it, uh, unsure, a little bit uh, shy, a little bit nervous. Bring back the Oilers jersey, that's right. In the background. I get I'll get a little mini Oilers jersey, put it on the side duck. Why doesn't he send the, the, the lady outside from time to time? He's probably trying to be a gentleman. He knows that he knows his wife doesn't want to miss her programs, so he does it uh, for her. Oh, maybe her hip was replaced. Yeah. And then when you go to pick up your Pokemon, she says, "Are we geniuses or what?" It's like you know, I haven't seen you leave your seat. You haven't done anything. It's the old man who's uh, who's out there tending to them. Uh, molding, uh, yeah, okay. Parts for important companies, yeah, so if the other guy is not, uh, not, uh, doesn't know what, it, keeping track of what he's doing, that's not good. Male and female Letty might have different colors in a gaming book, that's what you thought. Bought the gaming store as a full dex poster. Oh, on the other side it said shinies, so you just thought it was different to the male, female. Wedding anniversary West at West Edmonton uh, Mall, Fantasyland Hotel. Nice. Or what? Wait, they had their oh, they had their wedding anniversary. They went uh, to the hotel there. No, I've never been to that mall. Yeah, I figured out weeks later that it uh, <laughs> that it was the shinies. You thought one side was male and one was female. All right, thanks for the 107 likes. We want to get up to one. Uh, I'd love to hit 150 today. Um, 35 pincers. More than halfway to uh, odds on this hunt. Let's see if we can get ourselves this shiny today. Fantasyland Hotel's 20 different fantasy suites and rooms. Okay. You should have asked them what fantasy they chose. Oh, they stayed in the princess one. Okay. Late Night with the Devil getting criticized by the anti-AI folks. Oh, they use a few AI-generated images. Okay. Yeah. Is, did, it, did it come out in the theaters yet? Is that out? Given a mold with a certain amount of uh, cavities, meaning how many parts he can run at once. Uh, he's having a hard time keeping track of how many he does a day. Yeah, that's not good. I, I, you would think you'd, you'd want to keep track of that. You don't want to be making too many. Internet's goofing up. Oh no! But I got through three hours for with a bit of help. Okay. Well, uh, does that mean you, you got to take off there? Is like, is it just getting too bad for you, or do you gotta you gotta leave? Goofing up though, man. Yeah, it's 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 kind of sucks when you're relying on the internet service for something, and uh, it's not working. Space one, the fia fiance wanted the space one, but she wanted the princess one. I thought you said they had their wedding anniversary. And now you're talking about fiancés. I'm confused. Ah, it's out tomorrow. Okay. Is that a Shudder movie? Will it be out on Shudder or is it going to be like exclusively theaters for a while? Bum, 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 bum. 
They did, I know about, I don't know about marriage. It was after they got married. Okay, so then there's the spouse would be the word. Fiance is, is when you're engaged to be married, but not married yet. Got a vile plume to 90 special. Now I can get Kabuto, evolve it into Kabutops, and then you'll catch a Mew the second. There you go, Mewtwo. Two E, yeah, one is male, two is female. I used my narrator's voice back then, what? Oh yeah, this is how I talked in all my live streams. Maybe that's just how I talked. Uh, premieres on Shutter April 19th, okay. So I'll have to wait till April 19th, I guess. Wait a few weeks. Yeah, but I guess it's getting good reviews, so... <laughs> Still 35 eggs. It's been a little bit of time since the last egg. But, uh, I don't know, we got a couple hours left in the stream. See if we can get this uh, purple bug. See if we can get the pincer. I tried to sound more professional back then. <laughs> I tried to, now I'm just like, yeah, I don't care. Something I didn't know until I was already married myself. Engaged is the time between accepting somebody's marriage proposal and the actual wedding. Oh, you didn't have that time period. So you were dating? And then you just, then you were married. Damn, I think you'll get it to this. I got, uh, I got it to say, you're looking at my gut? When somebody subscribes now. I think, you, I think you told me that, didn't you say, or you were gonna do that? My, my eye itches. But yeah, I like that. Is it, uh, is it the actual, uh, Philadelphia Collins, uh, soundbite? Had a security bar, but the plastic ring broke, but they refunded me. Uh, oh, for your, uh... <laughs> for for the thing or whatever that you got? From, uh, that you ordered the, the wedge? Ooh, my new, my, my package has arrived. It's my new glasses are here. Brings up a pic of him and his son that says, I got my boys and my burgers. <laughs> Philadelphia Collins, man, he was great. I should go uh, go across the street and get my new glasses. Got my boys and my burgers. Uh, the wedge is the new the normal security bar. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that you really have to worry about people breaking into your apartment, but uh, it's nice to have something there, I guess. All right, you can listen to this, uh, this wonderful music for the next uh, couple of minutes here while I quickly run across the street and I can show you my, my brand new glasses that came in the mail. You guys are gonna love these ones.
welcome new channel member. Welcome new channel member. Welcome new channel member. Welcome new channel member. All right, we're back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, whoa, what is this? Welcome new channel member. Shinies gifted a membership. Airy gifted Welcome a membership. Clocky member. gifted a membership. Hefty gifted a membership. Channel member. Cycloptics gifted five memberships. Thank member. you, everybody. Appreciate that. Welcome new channel. I'm gonna feel so silly. What am I feeling silly for? Welcome returning channel. Keith, member. almost a year. All right, let's check check these out here. Keith gifted a membership. It's not the members on Welcome yet. That's Sunday. Member. All right, let's uh, let's try these uh, these on. I'm not gonna look at them. Wait, the these are not what I ordered. What is this? <laughs> what a good prank, a guten prank. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's for my daughter. She really wanted those. You guys, thank you so much for those gifted memberships. I really appreciate that. That's, that's 12 gifted memberships. What are those? Glasses for ants? <laughs> so dumb. Doesn't even realize that it's a model. <laughs> that's a good scene. I like that. Oh, I was about to joke. Nice of you to get to your daughter new glasses. That's right. Fun by gifting some memberships. That was a good prank. You guys pranked me so good. Um, SH Animations, 64 odds in, uh, in the Generation 2 games. Gold, Silver, Crystal, if you breed with a shiny Ditto. You uh, all of the all of the eggs will be one in sixty four chance of being shiny if you're breeding with a shiny ditto. Hey Shadow Natsu, there's another egg. I like that. Deposit egg. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, if you if you breed if one of the parents is shiny like if it's a not a shiny ditto but it's a different parent then it's a one in 128 chance if both parents are shiny then it, then it's also one in 64. yo yeah you have the old gold version nice on the three on the 2ds right on i actually did get myself uh, a new pair of glasses. These ones are uh, supposed to help if you have headaches or something. So I'm not sure how uh, how they're gonna look yet. Mm, little bit uh, the same, almost the same. Almost the same shade as my other ones. Yeah, so there we go. These are that's the original color and that's the new color. They're pretty pretty similar. Except the, these ones are like actual like special Light filtering, they help you with headaches. If you get light, light sensitivity or whatever. 
frames still look orange. The frames do? Or the, uh, or the lenses? Hope you're well. How's the hunt going? The hunt's going good. Sorry, the lenses. Yeah, it's it's weird. The coloring is a little bit off. They don't uh, in in person. They're a lot more pink looking. Um, but the hunt's going. The hunt's going. Um, Thirty five eggs in. We're more than halfway to odds. More than halfway to odds. You're going for shiny Aerodactyl and Crystal. I did get myself... I don't have the shiny Aerodactyl. But I do have Aerodactyl uh, in the box ready to go. I've got Kabuto, Ammonite uh, ready to go to shiny hunt at any point. Uh, Eevee fan should be to school and you'd rather watch the stream. The only thing you need to know is how many eggs it takes for a baby to shine. Um, 1 in 64 chance. How many members we need for the new specs? Well, what's today? Normally we do... 10 members away, no, 9 away, if we're doing the member goal, but, um, during the member-a-thon, if we, if we reach a certain amount of members, then, then we're gonna, we're gonna eliminate the daily goal for, uh, for the pink glasses, and then the pink glasses will be a permanent addition to the channel. Did I get the Gen 2 fossils? Not yet, Hefty, I've been searching, um, I remember reading on, um, WWW true uh, Pokemon facts not rumors.com that there's a 0.1% encounter rate for the Gen 2 fossils in Mount Silver and I still haven't found it yet. I'm pretty sure I'm over odds. Uh, well, how many eggs would that uh, equ equate to? Well, every egg is a 1 in 64 chance. So, I mean, some are going to be before 64, some are going to be after. But on average, about 64 eggs per shiny. Remember thought next month. It's Sunday, JJ. This Sunday. Whoa, Sasuke Gifted 5. Shadow Natsu, Gaming Triku, High Top Ninja, uh, Big Daddy Bubba, and Shiny 37. You gotta save save a little bit for for, for Sunday. The member a thon. I do appreciate Welcome it though, Sasuke. Member. Welcome new channel member. Thank you very much, Sasuke. You guys have, have been fantastic with the, with the gifts today. I came back from running uh, from outside and I was uh, a little bit winded. Um, but Sasuke gifted a membership. So we had Keith gifted a membership. Cycloptix gifted five. We had Hefty gifted a membership. Clocky gifted one. Airy gifted one. Shiny's gifted one. Very, very much appreciate uh, those um, gifted memberships. Paid on the 25th, dang. Yeah, we'll be starting on Sunday the 24th and potentially going all the way into the 25th. We'll be starting at uh, noon o'clock, Eastern Daylight Time, uh, Central Daylight Time, noon o'clock, Central Daylight Time, and potentially going 24 hours. Uh, 500 memberships to reach 500 uh, memberships total. To get the hair, yes, 500, uh, not total memberships, memberships on that stream. Memberships that day kind of thing. For the hair chopped off. No, we don't, we don't talk about dander time, that's, that's nonsense talk. Got your monster energy, I've got some bang energy drinks. We, uh, I kind of, kind of lucked out, went to the Dollar Tree. And uh, they had a lot of bang energy drinks at Dollar Tree, so a buck fifty Canadian, one one dollar twenty five cents American. If if you if you were in the American Dollar Tree, how do we prank Cam? We should all give one membership as a prank. That's is that what he actually said? Because I didn't really have time to read all the chats. Let me go up. There it is. Okay, how should we prank Cam? We should all gift one membership. It would be the greatest prank ever. I'll start. <laughs> that was uh, that was a, definitely a good prank. That's uh, I, I like I like uh, funny pranks. <laughs> I don't. I actually I don't like. I, I see there's a lot of prank channels on YouTube. 
and uh, I hate I really hate pranks that if like somebody if somebody gets pranked and then they feel bad afterwards then it's not a good prank um got that nerd so good that's right come back from that awesome prank I know I know you dislike all cap messages as do I but it's okay if I just type lol if you're laughing out loud that's I mean that's I guess technically okay because lol is supposed to be in all capital letters like if you're typing NASA or something then that's like supposed to be capitals Oh, not shiny man, 36. Eevee fan. Uh, so one plus two, let's see, is it four? Me when I'm shiny anything. So one in 40,096 and a one in a thousand chance of rare marks. So that's one in, uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly, right? The shiny hunters, they all got the probability math down. They all know exactly. Um, sponsored by Bang Energy and Dr. Squatch. Hey, I, I wish. If Dr. Squatch wants to sponsor me, that's one sponsorship I'd gladly accept. Yeah, acronyms. Yeah, acronyms and initialisms. They're not. Uh, they're not all caps messages because they're supposed to be capitalized. So that's that's fine. Just don't uh, don't uh, create a message that's completely com comprised. Uh, you know, a maximum amount of characters uh, with uh, just uh, acronyms. I don't want to know about NASA, IRS, and and the BFI garbage bins and all that stuff in one message. Look at, that was another egg, like, really quickly. All right, 37th egg. Not shiny. Halfway through my radar scuba NASCAR message. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't do that. Let's go is us an acceptable, but don't over don't go overboard with the O's. That's right. Doctor Squatch, hey, if you advertise this, we'll give you money and a year's supply of soap. I would say yes, please. Could you do could you do all caps message in uh, in win in wingdings? I don't know if you can do that uh, that that uh, that font on YouTube chat. Evolved my Kabuto, that's 150 now for Mewtwo. 150. There you go. So, whoop. So now Mewtwo, and then I'm uh, I'm guessing then you're gonna go for Mew, right? It dissolved super quick, really. What uh what flavor did you get? I like the pine tar, so. I wonder, yeah, what if you copy-pasted, uh, the wingdings, or webdings, or whatever they are. Pine tar, and you forgot the other one. If you bought it from, like, say, Walmart. Walmart's got pine tar, and they got, like, wood uh, barrel bourbon, I think. Oh, don't type tiny like that. Not shiny, number 38. Scuba spelled backwards is deep sea skiving. That, that's right, deep sea diving. That's right, backwards. Um, bum, 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 bum. Oh, that was an earlier one. Earlier hatch there. Uh, Cam, I got Mew before I beat Misty. Oh, okay, so you need to, you just need to get the Mew too. Wait, why do you need another Mew if you already have one? Muffin Man. Skydivers to SpongeBob. That's true, scuba divers are skydivers. SpongeBob. Man, I want to go skydiving again this summer. But I'm too chicken. 
I'm not scared to jump out of the, uh, out of the airplane. I'm just too scared to like to drive there to the place. Mew plus Mew equals. Oh, that's the way you're gonna do it. Okay. Egg number thirty-nine hatching. Not shiny. <laughs> shiny, not. That was a good prank. Shiny's trying to prank me to thinking it was shiny. Alright, let's see. Bingo bango -nt. You're still guessing for number 47 Cycloptics. Okay. 47. We gotta get this thing under odds. We can't be going three hunts in a row over odds. That's 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 just nonsense then. First time JJ used the same day expedited shipping because I'm a prime member saved seven dollars an extra on top of ten dollars of regular shipping. That's uh that's a lot of uh, shipping savings. Oh hey, watch me spell two backwards. There you go. But but you're missing the A in there. Should sue this nursery no shiny eggs, yeah. <laughs> That's the worst knock knock joke I ever heard, Nick. Didn't miss a thing. Don't know what you're talking about. That's right. Um, I wonder what's the 50% uh, mark? I think. At what number of eggs is it like a 50% chance that you get it on or before that number? I would say probably somewhere around 40 eggs or so. 42, 43 eggs would be my guess. Or they did fall asleep. Yeah, they could have fallen asleep too. Gotcha. Not backwards. Uh, that's right. So maybe there wasn't supposed to be that in there. Forty-four eggs. Look at that. What did I say? Forty-two, forty-three. I was pretty close. Thank you, Hefty. Forty-four eggs is sort of the halfway odds. Uh, you, you bet about a fifty percent chance you get it on or before forty-four eggs. Fifty point zero one percent no shiny forty nine point nine nine. All right, we'll we'll round that up. Forty four eggs. We'll round it to fifty fifty. That's if it's actually fifty point zero one and uh, forty nine point nine nine. That's actually pretty good. At, at a nice whole number of 44 eggs. That's really close. But for me, says Muffin Man, 100% chance that I get it on odds. 64, that's your guess. I still think it's pretty cool that uh, if I do hatch all of the shiny Pokemon in this generation, that uh, there's an expected value of about four, four shinies that I would get in uh, on the very first egg I'll probably get at least one shiny on the first egg all right come on now come on Cletus 
Come on. It's good old uh, nostalgic music. Oh, there we got Old Man River again waiting for us. With an egg. Maybe he should shake the egg up a little bit. If we get that, uh, get get it, get if we get so many bruises on the pincer, then it'll look shiny. Yeah, the this generation's got great music. I mean, Pokemon's always had good music, but something about the Gen two music is just really nice. Ecritique and Azalea Town and all that's good stuff. Forty eggs, you're calling it, Eevee fan? Scrambled pincer eggs. That's right. Not, not, don't, don't shake it up too much. Like, don't put it in one of them paint shakers or something. Just, just enough to give him some bruises. You know what? Let's put the bike music on. Which is just Goldenrod's music, but faster. Once you mentioned it, uh, you're whistling around the warehouse. Oh, the music you are. You gotta have it. You guys are gonna all have this music stuck in your head. Just pedaling around. The bike blares it just to let people know that you're going by. That's right, that's what's on his back. See, when you go like this, that's not a backpack, that's a ghetto blaster. He's got a built-in ghetto blaster in there. Fried pincer eggs with Alolan Raichu baked pancakes and alchemy cream on top. Yeah, that'd be good. Oops, I left the root, so now it's, uh... All right, you got the Mewtwo already. There you go. It will. So is Mewtwo 150, or is that 151 then for you? All right, Pincer, come on now. Here, Pinchy, Pinchy, Pinchy. We're waiting. Bum, 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 bum. The song was stuck in your head. Oh, bad. yeah, bad because of me. Sorry. <laughs> Better than this guy in junior high. He would just, he would just go uh, do the clown music, over and over. He would just like sing that over and over and over and over, and it'd drive you crazy. On, pincer. I wonder if if they call him pincer because he'll pince you if you if you get too close. I see you played this and I think, man, it sucks. I won't get to play this game in history ever. Well, you know what? You can still buy the the physical copies. Yeah, come on out to play, pincer. What kind of a bug is Pincer? He's some kind of a beetle. Hey, Jerry's back. Just in time for egg number 40. Yeah, I won't be... I can't recommend that J-Dub, but that is a possibility. <laughs> He's just a weird beetle. Oh, okay. One of them weird beetles. Oh, it was the 151st. Nice. So you have your decks done, so you're going to go talk to Bill now. You got to go talk to Bill, get your certificate. I left home at 10 years old, and now my mom just spends all my money. See, that's a big mistake there, Shinies. Allowing your mom to save your money. 
Ah, oh, it's a stag beetle, okay. That's right, she did call you and ask you if she should save your money, and you told her yes. And then now she's buying you polka dolls and all that stuff. While you were away, I bought this with your money. I hope you like it. Oh, Paul McCartney, he's the stag beetle. <laughs> I do like the Pokeball, uh, or the Pokedoll skip in uh, Generation 1. You can completely skip the, uh, the Casino Underground. You don't need the self scope. You just go and you buy a polka doll and you throw it at the uh, the Marowax mother, and then it goes away. Told someone last night that if you want to abandon your kids, just become a Pokemon trainer. Problem solved. That's right. You never see Dad anywhere. No, no, and Jen. What is it? Norman. You do see Norman. That's what Gen three, right? That's what happens in the Pokemon music. They don't go out for a carton of milk. They go out to, to, to train their Pokemon. All right, egg number 40. Mm, not shiny. Getting a little nervous. This thing's gonna be over odds. Gen 3's the best. Norman Reedus, yeah, that's that's who he is. Alright, Pinsir, dignity is at stakes right now. Darn you, Pinsir, that's right. You predicted 40. You were pretty confident about it, too. All 151 have been caught. There you go. Go talk to Bill. Go talk to Professor Oak. Sims live action movie in the works? Really? Tried to do that project, immediately hit a roadblock. Oh, really? Round two next week. Wait, next week? You got tomorrow off? I'll get it in 700 minutes. Nah, it'll, it'll be faster than that. Um, There can't be any other Pokemon that exists other than a 151, right? No, no missing number Pokemon or anything. Nope. Just those ones. Riding around the Christmas tree and something bump on out. Two subjects. Don't end the stream. We've got uh, we got a little bit of time left here. I've been extending the length of my live stream so. Uh, we, we still got some time here. Yeah, school subjects. Uh, help from a resource. Oh, and I need help troubleshoot. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, the changes, uh, Friday week. Yeah, so you gotta wait till Monday. All right. 31 hours, 36 minutes. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Flip a coin after, uh, you should flip a coin after hatch number 43. Why, why would I do that? And if you call it right, it'll be shiny. So, after the egg hatches or while it's hatching? Like when, when the egg says, when, when, when he says, huh? Because the egg, then I flip the coin. Oh, prepping for 44. Oh, right, because it'll be 50-50, yes. Yep, the good the good rules of probability is that in the universe of luck, all of that uh, odds go. If, if you miss, uh, if, you, if you don't get the shiny, all the odds transfer over to the next one. But 
Imagine the content if you're right. You know what? I'll do it. On egg number 44. Every time we reach, we, 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 we reach 44 eggs. I'll flip a coin. How about that? Damn, these Pokemon uh, Crystal Prep streams have been nice. Crystal Prep, yeah. But uh, I'm looking forward to... Uh, to Ho-Oh and Lugia and Suicune at least, because those will be pretty quick. Well, the, the encounter rate will be quick. Bill's uh, telling me to check out the PC. That's it. What a guy, man. He didn't even give you anything. You don't want to buy a fryer. Is oil so expensive? Plus, what do you do with the oil afterwards? You drink it, JJ. Encounter rate quick. How does that happen? Well, I mean at, at least two per minute two and a half per minute times two devices Five five six encounters per minute. Oh You're not gonna drink the oil You can make your own homemade soaps out of it, right? You can hydrogenate it and uh, turn it into like a margarine Right you can use it as like a suntan lotion Bathe in it, flush it down the drain, that's right. Alright, can Egg 41 hurry up and get here, please? Dumping, you reuse the oil, JJ. You pour the oil into, uh, into a mason jar or something. And then, uh, and then you use it the next time you cook. All right, uh, number 41, egg number 41, here we go. Not shiny, number 41. You, yeah, returned, Eevee fan, you can multitask. How many uses does Zoil have? I mean, lots. I mean, it'll last a good long, uh, good long time. I mean, once it starts to get stinky, it becomes burnt or whatever, and then it's, yeah, then you don't want to use it anymore. Um, withdraw the egg, here we go. Yeah, it gets a good use. Oh, look at C! Man, the old man, he just waited for me to go take the egg out of here, and then he just goes and gets me an egg. Get one of those fryers that'll filter, filter the oil, there you go. I mean, just think of how often do fast food restaurants change their oil. Not very often, I imagine. I mean, they, they, they filter the oil or whatever, and they'll add more oil, but I don't think uh, fast food restaurants change the oil out very often. If ever. Talk to one of the guys in Game Freak headquarters in Celadon. He gave me a diploma. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, so it wasn't Bill who gives you the diploma. It's the Game Freak. Yeah, or you, you can just get one of those like little strainers. Those little uh, little wire mesh strainers and just pour the oil through that into a jar. You get the, you get the food chunks out of there. McDonald's runs on six gallons of oil per year. Yeah, they never change it. Six gallons, you gotta use way more than that. A lot of places, a two-week cycle with oil. Really? That uh, that often? They only did a full oil replace and clean the fryer like twice a year. Okay. I guess it depends on, on where you are, what you're cooking in it, all that. Can you fry with canola oil? Yeah. 
You don't want to fry with olive oil, because I think olive oil has a low smoke point. Canola oil you can heat up a little bit hotter, I think. Yeah, canola is pretty standard. That's what I use. That's what I use when I make fried bannock. All right, here we go. Egg number forty-two. Oh, not shiny. Lemon lime Kit Kats and man, they are good. I've never tried a lemon lime Kit Kat before. Uh, peanut oil. Is that, uh, can you, can you fry at higher temperatures with that? I've seen peanut oil in the store. I've never, I never bought any, though. Cook with crude oil. Yeah, maybe that's not such a good idea. Same as canola oil. Okay. Peanut oil is a nice heating point. Okay. What about Comet Kid to Pincer? Something about being released? Good flavor. Does Five Guys use peanut oil? Is that what they use? I like getting uh, getting big potatoes and you cut them up into french fries. And then you fry them up in the oil. And sometimes you take the fries out a little bit early and let them cool a bit, and then you put them back in the oil. Egg number 43, here we go! Not shiny! Means we'll be flipping a coin on the next one. Longest period between shiny eggs, that's crazy. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna pick up an egg, I'm gonna hatch, and when it says home, then that's when I'm gonna do uh, the coin flip. Before the egg starts hatching. Double fry those french fries, they're good. Crack some sea salt on them while they're still a bit uh, still a bit oily. Yeah, you can batter the fries too. Season them with all kinds of seasoning, salt, pepper, whatever. Right? And then, yeah, it's really good. I use Steel-type Pokemon. Do you know about Steel-type Pokemon? It was recently discovered. And no, why do you expect me to know about it? Oh, what's that, the Olivine City Gym Leader? Canola oil, four liters for ten bucks. Here you go, that'll last you a long time. Sweet potato fries, yeah, those are good too. Those are really good. Alright, do I have a coin? I, I gotta have a coin here. I've got my, uh, my quarter. My Canadian quarter from... 1967 it's got uh, Queen Elizabeth on the front of the coin on the back of the coin is a cougar and uh, and the coin is actually tarnishing because of its high silver content Cooking's easy nowadays. You really just have to take the pa take the product out of the packaging and warm it up. I don't know why people complain about how cooking's so hard. The front has the cougar too. <laughs> Come on, he, she, no. Um, bum, 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 bum. So I'm missing though a ton after I beat the league. Now I'm checking the yeah, uh, what the heck? The enemy Mewtwo bow is bird keeper twice. What the heck? I don't know what that means. Alright, uh, we're 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 at the 50-50 egg coming up next. One in 64 chance of hatching a shiny. There's about a 50% chance of getting the shiny on or before 44. So I'll be, I'll be flipping the coin. Heads it's not shiny. Cougars it is. The coin flip determines the shininess. 
Oh, the Hall of Fame corrupts badly, and that's one of the corrupted Pokemon you saw. Okay. Mm. Alright, pincer number 44. Show yourself. Ooh, the S&P 500 is up uh, 0.56%. Uh, I don't invest in that, but thank you, PC, for telling me that. I would I don't know what I would do without that information. Staying out of the city, but it's not even the bike music. Yeah, because I guess I probably went into the city. I don't invest in salt and pepper, no. Thirty-four, Cam, not forty-four. No, forty-four. About a fifty percent chance of getting it at forty-four eggs or earlier. On a one in sixty-four chance. Um, um, Favorite corrupted mon, a sprite of a doe duo to name C and no level and no type. Interesting. An interesting Pokemon. Alright, uh, Pincer44, are you gonna are you gonna hurry up and hatch? Come on now. Of course, 44 is going to take a long time. Uh, which is the impossible to catch shiny and gold and silver versions? Um, I think just the unknowns. That uh, unless the unknown is a, the letter I or V, uh, they can't be shiny. Only unknown I and V can be shiny. The rest of them can't, but everything else can be shiny. James, what did you miss? Uh, not, well, you, yeah, you missed uh, my, my new pink glasses, maybe. Alright, okay, here's the huh message. We're gonna flip a coin, and this is gonna determine whether or not this egg is shiny. Alright, if we get the queen's head, it's not shiny. If we get the cougar, it is shiny. The quarter's not real dirty, it's just tarnished because it's a high silver content. Alright, here we go. It is the queen's head, it means it's not shiny. I can't believe shinies made me do this scam of a, of a thing. And look at that, not shiny. See, the, the coin never lies. We're, we're the, the coin has been accurate 100% of the time. You have a dirty coin. I guess if you call tarnish dirt, then, then I guess it's dirty. Clean your coin. Not not cleaning it. That uh, no, no cleaning product will ever touch that coin. Don't you know if you clean collector's coins, it loses value? I think somebody paid... I think somebody paid for that to, Look at that again! I go to collect the egg and then the old man decides now he's gonna go out and get another egg. I think this is back when I was a teenager and I was working at uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. KFC. And somebody paid with that quarter. And rather than steal the corner, steal the quarter, I charged myself 25 cents on my debit card and then bought that quarter. <laughs> my friend Cam and I, my first Pokemon video ever, nice gaming Trico, posted in the, um, in our Discord server, we have a self-promotion section. So I made a debit transaction of 25 cents. And that actually probably cost 
I bet you it probably cost the KFC about 20 cents in transaction fees. Can you skip the Suicune battle to shiny hunt it? Um, I don't remember. I think, doesn't it, once you, once you uh, encounter it like the first time, doesn't it just like run away from you? It like keeps running away from you until you reach the final spot and then that's when it, when you shiny hunt it. So the very first time you actually get into a battle with it, I believe is when it's determined if it's shiny. I don't know how, I don't know, I have to, I have to watch the video. Because I, I don't know, actually I don't know how to shiny hunt it. You knocked it out and you can't get Ho-Oh now. Wait, what? Or Lugia, I can't remember. I should probably look into this before I, but because I want to shiny hunt them. I don't want to shiny on it before I could shiny on Celebi. Um, I don't think I I I think I have the GS ball already in this game, and I haven't even looked at Suicune yet. I don't think I've battled Suicune yet. And, uh... And I have the GS ball, so I'm not sure. Beating the league again, and uh, my rival will be forced to see my completed decks, yes. So what's this with Celebi and Suicune, though? Because I've released, obviously I've released the beasts from the tower, but I'm pretty sure I've not seen Suicune since. And I have the GS ball, so what? If I if I use the GS ball, Suicune's gone or something? Like, what's the, what are we talking about here? Crystal, yeah, in Pokemon Crystal, Suicune is sort of uh, optional, right? You can skip, I haven't, even, yeah, because I haven't been to Tin Tower yet. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done Tin Tower. You just need to, I think, beat the Elite Four... And then I can't remember, like, you go you go into the Pokemon Center in Goldenrod, and they give you the, uh, the GS ball. JJ, uh, I like this thing. I just found a Japanese fryer pot with temperature gauge. There you go. The Red Gyarados does not want to get caught. Oh, right, yeah. Then, yeah, you go to the Pokemon Center in Goldenrod, then you give it to Kurt, and it takes like one day of real time or something for him to uh, to open the GS ball or something. And then you take it to the shrine in, in the forest. Oh, it got caught right after you said it wouldn't get caught. Yeah, Mikey, I am using Shiny Ditto, so these are all 1 in 64 chance. Uh, eggs, uh, we're at 44 eggs now. 44 eggs on this. I have a theory playing this game for the thousandth time though. You know how your surf mounts have red sprites? I think that it was to keep the red Gyarados a mystery until the encounter. Oh, really? That's what you think. So when you saw it red in there... You're like, oh, okay, it's a, just a weird Gyarados. Like, it's just red like the rest of them. 
But yeah, that's kind of reddish. My ditto is red. I guess they're all kind of red, aren't they? That's if Kurt even opens it. Yeah, he will, though. You stand by your theory. All right. <laughs> yeah, look at even my character sprite. It's got a red hat on and everything. That was the quickest theory that was ever debunked. <laughs> yeah, they made you red to, hi sh to hide the shiny Gyarados. Oh, GTO subscribed to watching your game for two weeks. Well, I appreciate the subscribe, man. That means you got Welcome to see the shiny Deoxys. There's the subscribe popping up, GTO. Appreciate you, man. Just curious, man. Excluding Pokemon or game TV series you like. Um, yeah, Pokemon you like. Uh, but what's MLP? What's that? Major League Baseball? I like uh, I like 3D platformer games. I like Legend of Zelda. Uh, I like the Resident Evil games. TV, TV and movies. I like watching like uh, scary movies and all that. Thrillers, mystery style movies. Yeah, they made Pokemon Red not to raise suspicion in the next generation. You're gonna become a member soon, bro. I'd appreciate that, man. We actually have our member a thon this very Sunday. 45th egg! Oh, my little pony, okay. Not shiny! What the heck? 45 eggs. This is supposed to be 1 in 64 chance. And I've done 45 without a shiny. Is this a scam or what? Yeah, they knew about shinies way back in Gen 1, but because of the uh, the limitations. Because of the limitations, just the black and white screen. They, uh, they had to postpone the shinies until Gen 2. Small eggs born to a giant one, yeah. You hatch the egg and then five, five or six other eggs come out, execute. One of them is huge. I like the Gen 1 sprite of Execute, where it's like one huge egg with a bunch of little ones around it. Alright, hey Pokemon Trainer Ray, how's it going? Come on, Pinsir. Gen 1 Execute was awesome, yeah. The giant, uh, the giant egg, the leader egg, with all the little ones. Uh, have you guys seen the, the beta sprite for Mew? You should look up beta Mew sprite and look at how Mew originally looked. Man, that's the stuff that would give you nightmares. So just a, just a quick warning. If you're under the age of 12, you may get nightmares looking at that picture. Some of you over 12 will probably get nightmares too. Very bony alien head Mew, yes. Oh yeah, that's what he looks like. I didn't, uh, I didn't think that. That's not something that I that I saw when I saw the Mew, but he's uh, he's pretty freaky looking. The blue beta, yeah, I guess the the original Pokemon games. Yeah, if that's if that's what it looks like for you, you gotta gotta go see your doctor. Beta Mew uh, Sprite. 
in uh, not in blue in red and well red and green only in Japan Looks like the ancient Mew card a little little bit. Yeah, I still have my ancient Mew card and it's uh, and it's sealed still Yeah, the Pokemon Pokemon red and green the, the Japanese only version Mew Sprite Some weird stuff that's right He's got like these little like nubs for arms Barely even has any arms Caught Mew in your translated green copy and it's hideous. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Heck is this next uh, little greasy looking thing gonna shine? This little beetle. We need the beetle to shine. Oh, there we go. Egg number 46. Can we get this shiny? Oh, it's not even shiny. Got scammed again. Thank you, Chem Nation Imposter. Merlin got Welcome gifted a membership. Member. Look at that. <laughs> Member hype. Ooh, that was an early pincer egg. Soft boiled eggs in the fryer. There you go, JJ. Red green Mew looks like a malnutritious rat that's trying to flex. <laughs> oh man, it, it was a creepy design for sure. All right, Merlin got the gifted membership. That's 18 channel members today. That's pretty cool. But we do have our memberathon on Sunday. Okay, this Sunday. Subtract one hour, 14 minutes from whatever time it is for you. And uh, and on Sunday, that's what time I'm going to be going live. For potentially 24 hours. Uh, I should leave a blonde haired dye in the nursery as a hint. Oh, oh you should, yeah. Because you're trying to get that Illumise. And you've had a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs trying to get that thing. I hope your next phase really isn't a Volbeat. That would suck. Starting earlier, I guess. Well, it's... I, I'm starting at noon o'clock Central Daylight Time. Which is actually later than I normally start the stream. But we could be going potentially, you know, 20 to 24 hour live stream, so... Um, I've been live streaming three hours, 45 minutes. Whew. So I'd only be, uh, only be about a little under a sixth of the way done my stream. But we'll be doing some, we'll be doing different games, Shining Hunting in different games. We'll be doing some competitive uh, Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Maybe doing some Mario Kart. Uh, egg number 47 coming up. Not shiny on 47. You'll be streaming 22 and a half hours early. Yeah, that's right. Then my, then my, uh, that's true. Then my typical Monday stream. We gonna fight, Cam. Yeah, Sax, Sax won't even be allowed though. He'll win so fast. I'll be like, okay, which move should I pick? All right, I'll pick this move, Trick Room, and then all of a sudden, like, my whole team will be dead.
I'm gonna have to get up a, a little window. A little, a little window to block the moves, so you guys don't see what moves I'm picking. Or if I'm switching a Pokémon, you won't see what I'm switching to, or whatever. Oh, look it! Chem Nation picked, um... He picked this move. I'm gonna use this move to counteract it, then. He picked that electric move. I'm gonna pick a ground-type Pokémon. All right, egg number 48. Come on now. Not shiny. Not shiny pincer. Pincer uh, pincer making us wait a little bit. Fewer than 20 eggs away from being over odds again. How do you have a shiny mega Arceus? That doesn't exist. Bomp on Dino and uh, yeah, Drapion, you get them later. So when you say you're done, Hefty, does that mean now you're resetting? You just you just itching to reset the game and just start fresh. Yes, sir. Okay. All righty. Remember that one time when we got uh, when I got shiny uh, type null on stream? And I wanted to get the second shiny type null. So then after live stream, I restarted the game and I beat the entire game in one night. Just so that we can dual hunt it on stream the next day. You're eating vanillish. Ooh, I don't do that. My daughter caught a uh, vanillite in, uh, in Sword and Shield yesterday and she just named it ice cream that's what she nicknamed it she's got ice cream uh she picked score bunny and named it hopper she got uh, zigzagoon and named it my fave poke and then she's got cute in town and cutie pie and cutie pie too <laughs> she she picks like his silly names from her pokemon but hoppers she named hoppers Oh, and I think she caught Rookity, and instead of Birdie, she called it Bertie. Bertie. Put a T instead of a D. Bertie. Only the best names, that's right. Maybe I should take a screenshot. I can post it on a community tab. Rate my daughter's uh, Sword and Shield team out of 10. He said bump! I know, right? He's learning all those hip, uh, hip new slang terms. Right? All those radical words. Getting pretty far out with the things he's saying. Why is the game, like, glitching? I don't know if that's in my actual device or if that's just the, the capture software. Not sure if we have any other new subscribers today, but just in case we do, let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Um, oops. I wonder when that copyright claim is going to disappear. Still got a copyright claim on that, uh, on that Deoxys stream. Is that sound from you? What sound? You keep hearing a beep. I'm not hearing any beeps. Anyone else hearing any beeps? How about any boops? Imagine that Rattata was shiny. Hey, I, I do need one more. I do have one shiny Rattata in the game. Oh, something disconnecting. 
Um, really like the doo -doo noise. I didn't hear it on my. I didn't hear anything on my end, but. I mean, if, if if multiple people in the chat heard it, it could have been something. I didn't see any message pop up that something was disconnected or whatever. Or that OBS disconnected. Shiny Ratata stream, let's go! Grillbo. Shiny Ratata in this generation looks almost gray. It's almost gray looking. Doing it throughout the stream, you just ignore it. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, I guess that would be a phase on the pincer hunt, I guess. Well, not really, but... Can't really phase on a Masuda hunt. Or an egg hunt. I guess it I guess it depends. Some people would consider yes. Alright, yeah, could have been Sax's smoke detector. I should just randomly play, um... I should randomly play, like, the Legends Arceus, uh, shiny sparkle noise. That way, if, if anybody's playing that game, they'll just hear the noise come from my live stream and then wonder if they found a shiny or not. It's got working batteries, good. You're a cruel man. <laughs> Do it! I've heard of like, uh, what, uh, what people have suggested is make the donation sound the shiny sparkle noise. So like if I'm playing uh, Legends Arceus, but then I would see when the donation comes up. So, and then I would hear the sound so it wouldn't really like work. As intended. Random timer, yeah, just make the shiny noise go off on a random timer. It, <laughs> you're a cruel man! <laughs> It'd be a good trick, though. The Arceus shiny sound is my texting notification. Really? If somebody SMS text messages you. People have been doing that in Pixelmon? Ah, okay. You forgot to place the egg in the party. Yeah, right. Look at this. Five eggs in there. Favorite Wesley Snipes movie? I haven't really seen any. Have the shiny noise play randomly. Oh, randomizes with shiny noise. Yeah, that's true. Conversation starter when people hear it. Nice. Ah, here's an egg number 49. Do rag I need on Sunday. Do rag chain and a low battery smoke detector. Not shiny. What the heck? 49. 49 non shiny pincers. White man can't jump with Woody Harrelson. Probably. I don't think I have seen it. Trying to lose weight keeps getting mad at me because I won't buy her ice cream. <sighs> yeah, that's a struggle, man. I try to eat healthier, and then, like, my wife brings home, like, a treat. Junk food, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm gonna eat this junk food now. You should, I should, you should stop buying junk food, and then she won't buy junk food when she go if she goes grocery shopping, and I say, how come you didn't buy any junk food? <laughs> There's a lose-lose situation there. 
You don't buy the ice cream, she gets mad. You do buy the ice cream, she eats it and then gets mad because you bought it. What, uh, what little thing works well, JJ? What are you talking about? Try to eat healthy, but I've seen some Jolly Ranchers at the gas station. Oh, yeah, I like uh, the Jolly Ranchers sour candies are good. The hard candies I don't really care for. I'm the one buying the garbage, you buy the fiance. You shouldn't let me buy this. The door jammer, okay. Yeah, I don't think any, I don't think, I really don't think you're gonna have to worry about somebody trying to break into your apartment. But I could, I could uh, understand the, uh, the caution there of people banging on your door in the middle of the night. Sweet tart eggs out there. Ooh, wanting to try. Cut me off because I can't do it myself. That's right. Some Pika cry. Oh, that's her text message, Sax. Yeah, it's, it's, um... That's right. They, and they, they say, don't go grocery shopping hungry either. Make sure, you get, make sure you have a nice good meal before you go grocery shopping. Otherwise, you go hungry, you're going to see all the junk food and you're going to be tempted to buy it. I like the Cadbury cream eggs. Those are good. Hey, Scout, what's up? But they're just too expensive now. Cadbury cream eggs. Thankfully, though, the Easter Bunny brings some of them, so we don't have to really pay for them. Because they always bring a couple of the Easter Bunny for free. Uh, Eevee fan with the piece. Is that, uh, is that a piece out or something? Is that what you're, are you saying? Go to the gas station, walk out with a, a double-decker oatmeal, uh, yeah, crepe cream pie. Man. That's why you gotta pay at the pump. You can't be you can't be taking one one step into the gas station. Yeah, why did yeah, I didn't know why it added crepe. Oatmeal cream pie. I was like, okay, what's this crepe? It must be some type of product. <laughs> Alright, an oatmeal cream pie though, that sounds good though. Don't think it needs a wider release. James McAvoy's good casting. Um, now, is he the, ba the bad guy or the good guy? I would think the good guy. But he's, a, he's an underrated actor for sure. By hatching these eggs, I found out that the old man will never step outside of his home unless you leave the route. So I could I could ride up and down this spot forever, and he'll you'll never see the old man. But as soon as I step into the house, he'll probably be missing. All right, you going back to the ultra wormhole? Oh, Bardem to play the male villain, Javier. He's the one from uh, No Country for Old Man. Uh, old Man, right? No Country for Old Men. That's a yeah. He did a really good job at that. Elden Ring right now, okay. Still haven't uh, opened my copy of Elden Ring. Little Debbie having us in a chokehold. Yeah, they got rid of Little Debbie in Canada. No more Little Debbie in Canada. It's probably Justin Trudeau's fault. Here we go, egg number 50. Can we get a shiny pincer? One in 64 chance. Not shiny, still. Look at his little pinchers going, man. Titanium dioxide. No, I think it's just, a, it wasn't banned. I was, it's not banned, it was just, uh, I think the little De Debbie company just decided they're not gonna distribute to Canada anymore. Maybe it just wasn't selling enough. Come out with a bag of chips, honey bun, cheese danish. The old man's still there. Oh no, he is outside. Yeah, I always pay. Uh, I always pay at the pump.
Krispy Kreme ice honey buns. We are supposed to be getting a Krispy Kreme here. I'll wait uh, I'll wait a few weeks or a month or something after it happens. Because I know the lineups are going to be, like, down the block when it first opens. It's like when Popeyes, when we first got a Popeyes here, you'd drive by Popeyes and you'd see the drive through like, line was, like, like, pa like out, uh, completely full, cars outside of the parking lot, down the road, people waiting to get Popeyes. And now you go in, you get your meal right away. But just because it was new, everyone wanted it. Popeye's chicken sandwich, it's pretty good. What a mess. Oh yeah, even in the US, I guess, when they brought in their chicken sandwich, it was, uh, it was crazy there, wasn't it? Someone tried to hit you to cut in line. Somebody was trying to cut in line. Folks were going insane over a chicken sandwich. That's crazy. No ring yellow wormhole. Oh, okay. If the eggs, no pincer. The pincer eggs do take a little bit longer than the other eggs. You'd hit someone over a Popeye's chicken sandwich, yeah? Folks destroyed their cars to get in line, really? For a chicken sandwich, man, people are crazy. All right, here we go, number 51. Ah, not shiny. Still going strong, that's right. They had to, imagine like doing so damage to your to your vehicle for like a $5 chicken sandwich. Like, that's crazy. Another shi- No way! Another shiny Volbeat meta champion. I'm sorry. 3,551 eggs and three Volbeats. Ugh. Secret ingredient to get the, to get a dead addictive chicken sandwich? Yeah, I don't, I don't believe it. Definitely sounds like some kind of a rumor. But I mean, hey, like salt can be addictive, sugar can be addictive. They say that the McDonald's, they got that perfect uh, combination of salt and sugar. That's, uh, that keeps you coming back. What? What's that, Sax? Wrecked your car, you wanted a chicken sandwich. Oh, something about the first round that they can't get back, so maybe I can see where that rumor comes in then. Macy's, uh, or Mackey's. Mackey's Caramel Fraps. Never had one of those. Ooh, got you a Costco glizzy. Nice. All right, here we go. 52 eggs. Trimmed the beard a bit too much to fiance. Uh-oh. Not shiny on 52 on the pincer. Got about 25 minutes left in the live stream. My uh, egg box is almost depleted here. Old man got to get off his duff and pick up some more eggs here. Shiny and four eggs? I I'd be down for that. It's the last egg in box, number five. Lunch, all this delicious food is making me hungry. I might have to, I might have to make up some, uh, some jerk chicken marinade a bit later. Take some chicken out of the freezer. I'm running out of chicken. I gotta make a US run. Buy another 50 pounds of chicken breast or something. 
True masterpiece, best deal alive. I know a buck fifty for a huge hot dog and a drink. Like you're not gonna beat that anywhere. The jerk chicken uh, recipe marinade you recommended. I didn't. I no, I didn't. I didn't uh, re recall you uh, giving that to me. Bum, 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 bum. This time I might uh, double up on the on the pepper though. I used half of half a scotch bonnet pepper for two chicken breasts. I might use a full one this time. Yeah, jerk chicken. What did it do? It uh, it was it was too rubbery. That's right. That's what it did. Scotch bonnet for jerk? Yeah, imagine using uh, Jamaican peppers for for a Jamaican uh, for a Jamaican recipe. How crazy is that? Insane! Bum 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 bum. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that you used that? Carolina Reapers? No, I don't have those. Roomba can't fit under the new couches. Oh, really? That stinks. I never had a Roomba before. My kids leave their toys everywhere, and it, it would, it would, uh, it, Roomba wouldn't do us very good. Plus, we got a lip going into the kitchen. A human Roomba, yeah. Those things are good. Human, uh, humanoid versions. The life moose wasn't shiny. What? You have to pick up the dog uh, toys, yeah, before starting it up. I guess, yeah, they're nice for, like, dust and hair, especially you got pets. Good for pet hair. All right, another egg, number 53. Egg number 53. Ah, Xerneas. Okay, Foxy. Not shiny. What the heck? Roomba changed your life? Yeah. Death chick. Okay, Xerneas is the Mooth. The Mooth. And uh, the uh, Eveltal is the Death Chicken. Gotcha. There once was a moose whose name was Bruce, and Bruce's tooth was very loose. So he sought the advice of the kindly old goose. What should I do with my loose tooth? Zygarde is a snack. Yeah, that's right. Welcome, new subscriber. Butt Bricks! Thanks for the subscribe! Much appreciated! <laughs> or BTT Bricks, I guess. The price of the, the things these days, I know, right? Who would have thought prices increase every year? That's inflation. Uh, uh, there's also it also depends on the supply and everything That happens yeah, that's right Especially uh, You know especially when there's a big war going on between two countries and and countries that uh, that supply other countries with a lot of stuff that tends to affect the prices too Doesn't reach near the dock. Yeah, the war's not helping. I know, like, I know IKEA prices have really, really gone up. They're starting to come back down a little bit. 
But I heard that, uh, like, Russia is a huge supplier of, um, of the wood that's used in, in the IKEA products. So, I mean, with Russia being in a war, right, then they gotta set up new, uh, they, they can't get the wood from Russia anymore, so they gotta set up new places and all that, and that's expensive. The Great Canadian Moose War, yeah. Hard to reach spots, yeah, it does a solid job. How often do you have to empty the Roomba? Russia, Sweden, never thunk. Yeah, uh, yeah, IKEA furniture is designed, I guess, in Sweden, but it's not made there. Oh, the following egg after the shiny Volbeat. Oh, really? It was Illumise. Dang. I saw Tucker Carlson. He went to uh, he went to uh, to Russia, and he was like grocery shopping, and he was like he was he completely floored at the prices. He's like, I can't believe how cheap it is here in America. This would cost this much, and look at how cheap it is. Things must be so good. And then he didn't even realize that like after you after you convert the price, like the groceries he bought was like two weeks' salary worth of like <laughs> groceries. That he was like shopping at like the rich people grocery store, and that most uh, most Russian citizens couldn't afford those kind of groceries. I think I literally just withdrew the same egg that I deposited. There you go. 0 0.007 US dollars, okay. Asian Russians hate European Russians and vice versa. Are there are there different uh, different kinds of Russian people? Ah, uh, the Cobalion wasn't shiny. Okay. Ah, uh, three to... Okay, it was a three to two Volbeat batch. It's too bad the Illumise couldn't have been. Yeah, okay. I know Russia spans both Europe and Asia, but I would assume that, like... That still, like, doesn't matter where in Russia. I would assume probably... Uh... Um... What's the term? Demographically, it'd probably be pretty similar throughout. I don't know. I have no idea. So I think Russia's still considered just a European country. Even though, yeah, it, does, it is, it is uh, quite a big chunk of it in Asia. Oops. Ratata. All right, old man, where are ya? Give me an egg. Give me an egg, we got 15 minutes left. I wanna collect another egg. You should get the next shiny quick, yes, you should. You can't, you can't continue to go over odds like that uh, so many times in a row. Yeah, there's more to it than just converting to different currencies, right? He wasn't he wasn't looking at the price in in Russian currency and saying how cheap it is. He was saying all these groceries cost me, you know, whatever whatever his bill was, two hundred dollars American. You know, it would cost eight hundred in the U.S. for this, but here it's only the equivalent of two hundred U.S. But then they don't realize that. You know, most people don't make that much money in, in Russia. Uh, you're late, Jaden. You're late. Maybe just in time for egg number 54 to be a shiny pincer. Wouldn't that be nice? 
Shake the hand of the man who invented the flavor blue raspberry. It's a good flavor. It is. I do like blue raspberry. I'm thinking of blue raspberry slush puppies with a, with a couple pumps of shocker in there. That's some good stuff. Mmm. Blue raspberry slush puppies. Those are good. Oh, we hit it. Yeah, 125 likes. Thank you, everybody. I'm not going to pin a new like goal because we've only got like 13 minutes left or something. <sighs> we need a blue raspberry, yeah, and Pokemon. We got raspberries. We got golden raspberries and silver raspberries. Where are the blue raspberries? Where are those at? Couple shots of shocker. They make yeah, they taste so good. Nice uh nice good amount of sour in there. Ah, uh, still still no shiny zapdos for you, gaming Trico. 3023 encounters with the shiny charm. Actually. Oh, the pineapple pineapps are silver. There's no silver raspberries. Are there really no silver, uh, silver raspberries? I swear there's silver raspberries. Maybe there aren't. Probably no silver banana berries either, then. Um... Yeah, I hope you get it tomorrow, or maybe even on the next check. Maybe even today. Come on now. Where's this guy with the egg? Still no lecky for you. Ugh. Oh, but here's an egg hatching. Egg number 54, can it be shiny? Oh, it's not man there is too a silver raspberry I just looked it up talking about Wonka shockers no there's a there's a, a company slush puppy they're like uh, they're like frozen slushies and they got this liquid syrup that you can get uh, added to it called shocker and it's it's really sour Stag beetle's a scam beetle, that's right. Did they give a date finally? Nope, they didn't. No date yet. But um, if, if I had to guess, I would say probably next year after, sometime after Legends come as, comes out. That would be my guess. But, I mean, I got, I got a lot of Pokemon here to... Uh, I got a lot of Pokemon to, to catch before that happens. Let's get clearing boxes, continue Masudoing, Magikarp, and Gumi. Do it! Skip the Costco cookie, it's meh. I heard it was 800 calories, that cookie. What does what the Costco cookie cost? Pat Rat and Furfru, yeah, and Elemental Monkeys, exactly. That's what I'm saying. There's only a few Pokemon uh, left. There's the Patrat line, there's Furfru line, and there's all the Elemental Monkeys that uh, that haven't been on the Switch yet. So once Legend ZA comes out, they'll probably be on the Switch, and that's when they'll close bank. That's my prediction, anyway. Jay Gordon. What's going on, Jay Gordon? Party's complete. I got my boys and my burgers. Everyone's here. Inkachu, what's up, buddy? Philip is hanging out. Man, okay, so I have no more eggs. 
left uh, left to uh, collect here. Pro Game Masters hanging out. Thanks for 125 likes, everybody. We only got about nine minutes left. We've uh, we've been able to go all stream pretty much, having a full party of uh, five eggs. But now, finally, towards the end of the live stream here, the eggs are hatching faster than they're being produced. Massive hot cross bun for one quid. Um, that's good, man. I'm uh, hot cross buns. Are those the ones that have like fruit pieces in it? Oh, three bucks for the cookie. That's not bad. Just got off work after the gym. Gonna crush a dirty burger. Yeah, my wife went to the co-op, I think, or Sobeys or whatever, and they had the Trader Park Boys dirty burger chips. So she bought some, and they legit, actually, the first chip tasted like an actual cheeseburger, like a McDonald's cheeseburger. Yeah, white with a cross on the top. Yeah, okay. My wife likes those. My kids like them. I don't. I don't uh, like them that much. I'm gonna eat a sweet bun. I don't want to, to fruit in there. I want chocolate chips or something. Yeah, we got to star you yesterday. You haven't seen them there, really. I think they were at co-op. Co-op had them and Giant Tiger had them. But they're, they're kind of expensive, though. They're like little bags. I guess you're paying for the name, I guess. You know, they're just probably just generic chips that are just branded. Y'all have co-op. Yeah, that's right. Crumble cookies. Uh, no, we don't. At least not where I'm from. I haven't seen any. Portuguese sweetbread. Yeah, okay. I might have had that. Co-op. You don't have co-ops out there, really. So many shiny Volby. Take it back. Replace it with Illumise and Ditto. Well, I mean, that won't make... It's not in this game, so it wouldn't make any difference. Breeding with a shiny only increases shiny chances in Generation 2 in this game. Gold, silver, and crystal, that's it. Hmm... <sighs> Co-op has some good Cadbury caramel donuts. Ooh, at the moment. Another egg hatching, and I don't have any more any more ready to collect. Not shiny. JJ, as long as your multivitamins don't go up in price, I won't rage to customer service. Well, I certainly hope that you don't uh, complain to customer service when the prices go up. Found Zygarde Path with Bear Tick, Chinchino, Mimikyu, and Pelipper with Wide Guard. <sighs> Ooh, okay. So you got Bear Tick with the Ice moves. Wide Guard uh, Pelipper is good. Do do any of those move? Any of those Pokemon have um, like uh, defense reducing moves? It's a figure of speech. Okay, I never heard that one before. My favorite X-Men, I don't know, it's hard, Wolverine's pretty cool. Tri oh yeah, Chinchino Triple Axle. Uh, Mimikyu has baby doll eyes. Is that defense? Is that a defense reducer? Uh, Gambit or Cyclops? That's yours, Big Cheese. The new Kung Fu Panda movie. I haven't even seen the old one. Uh, oh, attack reduction. Okay, you probably want defense reduction. I mean, you could save the path. Uh, try it a few times. See, see if it works. If you like it or not, and then if, if, you, if you run it a few times and you don't like it, you can always uh, go for a different one, right? Eight hundred eighty-six Dynite Ori, okay.
Hey, there's the old man finally getting a new egg for me. He must have fallen asleep in his chair. That egg's probably already halfway hatched. Been sitting there so long. Uh, yeah, 85 defeated successfully. I mean, it's worth a shot. I know you've been struggling with it. You I mean, you may as well... Run, run that path a few turns to see. <laughs> Alright, we got time for maybe another egg. Remember the Titans? I know of the movie. I don't think I ever watched it, though. I don't think it interested me. Dang, Pincer. Uh, when is the shininess determined of the egg? Once you collect it from the old man, I think. Egg number 57! Can we get a buzzer beater? Not shiny! We got, a, we got like two minutes left. I'll see if I can hatch another egg. Here, bring it up to 58. Gambit's the coolest X-Men. Yeah, but they don't do him justice in the movies. Okay. I, I never really read the comics or anything, so... I've only really... My, my own only X-Men experience really is through the movies. Can you save in front of the old man and reset when it's not shiny? I mean, you could, I think... But it would take like 15 minutes to hatch the egg, right? So it would uh, it would it'd be a lot slower than uh, than hatching and, and collecting new eggs. Yeah, pincer I think is 60 6,500 steps I think in this generation. It would take about 15 minutes to hatch the egg. Whereas the method I'm doing, I'm getting every five minutes, every seven minutes. It's, uh, well, here, I've been live for four and a half hours, and I've hatched 54 eggs. So there you go, you can, you can calculate that. Let's see. All right, 4.5 times uh, 60 minutes divided by 54 eggs. I'm, I'm averaging five minutes per egg that way. All right, we're gonna we're gonna hatch one more egg here. Sorry for not being in the stream test. School's getting busy. I mean, that's a good reason to, to skip the stream. I know school's important, so. But uh, here we go. We'll go up to 58 here. That's going to be the last one. And uh, and here it is. Will the last egg of the day be a shiny pincer? Oh, it's not. That would have been good. That would have been a really nice way to end the stream. But unfortunately, we are going to... Oh, shiny's got an ad right on the last egg. We're going to call it here for today, but thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow is Friday. We'll be streaming to, uh, tomorrow. Uh, Saturday I have off, and then don't forget, Sunday is going to be the member thon where I'll be live streaming for potentially 24 hours, which is, uh, which is going to be fun. But uh, thanks for watching. Just before I leave, let me quickly say thank you to Sasuke, gifted a membership. Chris But Microwave gifted a membership. Shiny's gifted a membership. Airy gifted a membership. Clocky gifted a membership. Hefty gifted a membership. Cycloptics gifted five memberships. Keith flexed his 11 months and then gifted another membership. Thank you, Keith. Sasuke gifted another five memberships. Trico uh, gifting, uh, or, or sorry, flexing eight months of channel membership. And then Chem Nation, whoever that is, gifting a membership as well. Thank you uh, for tuning in. I look forward to seeing uh, what uh, what hatches tomorrow. Take care. You guys have a great rest of the day. Good luck on your own shiny hunts. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.